Hello and welcome to the Game Centre Podcast E3 Special. My name's Michael Cooper. Tonight I'm joined by Chloe Stewart, Kieran Gillian and Craig Kennedy. How are you guys? You doing alright? Excellent. Yeah, good. Good. Just jumped off the, the hype train from E3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been a lot of good stuff. I've really enjoyed this one. The glitz and glamour. Yeah. Yeah. It's been nice. Did you watch any or did you just read about it? Um, I've read about it mainly. Right, um, because I will tell you something. Me and Michael had a conversation about this. <laughs> Michael was originally not going to watch anything. Yep. About and I was going to wait for you guys to fill me in. But but that that is Michael sort of in a nutshell. Like uh-huh. he, do, he doesn't play games. He just reads the manuals. Yep. He doesn't watch E3. Yep. He just reads about it. Yep. Exactly. But this is exactly. when he wasn't even going to read about it. He was going to come in here not knowing a thing. Mm. Oh, we could have just have told you anything. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I there's a new. Game coming out, which has got weird <laughs> stuff in it. Doing weird stuff. Yeah. 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 Right. A, a new Toe Jam and Arrow game. Is it? What? No, there's not, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. There's not a new Toe Jam and Arrow game, no. no. Um, I had you going, though. No, it's it's Earthworm Jim, that's what I'm waiting for. He runs um, through the sky. <laughs> um, first, I'll go around the room. Um, what has been the thing you've excited you the most? Craig. Oh, no, you didn't come yeah. to me first. <laughs> yes. You just yep. did, didn't you? Yep. Um, uh, game. Anything? Um, it's well, what, uh, out of the whole conference is um, what's inci- excited you the most about this evening? Oh, I can't really just say one. There's been a few. Steep from Ubisoft looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, South Park. Right. Um, really like the look of Forza. Uh, really like the look of Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, looks things. really good. Um, uh, no, you put me uh, totally on the spot. New consoles from Microsoft, obviously, because it was the only bit of hardware that was announced. So happy days. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's probably about me. Yeah, there's yeah. Lo- loads more highlights and stuff, but I think we'll obviously we'll go through them. But mm-hmm. that for me is probably the, like the, the the biggest ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Good. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff from everyone really. I mean, um, from from all the developers really. I mean, there's a lot of uh, good stuff going on. Chloe, what's your? Oh, well, my highlights? main one was always going to be. Mass Effect, mm-hmm. like that was the one that I was wanting to say about. But obviously, you get more footage for Final Fantasy Fifteen, although the guy couldn't play the game. But we're not going <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which mm-hmm. I'm really excited about, and of uh, course God good. of War. Yeah, no, God of War. I'm mm-hmm. yeah. Can I put God of War in mine as well? No. No, it's right. mine. <laughs> um, Kieran, I'm going back. Zelda. Zelda. That's it. Just, Just Zelda. Zelda. Just yeah. Zelda, isn't it? Just if I Zelda. can drop the mic away. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Drop and walk. Drop and walk. Um, there's a couple of things that have jumped out from, out to me from from what I have seen. Um, the I, I feel that the FIFA 17, the the story mode, I think that's going to be interesting. Um, FIFA the journey. FIFA the journey. Which Can be- I just say how dramatic that introduction was? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Mm, yeah, I that's, didn't watch it. You didn't. It's no. football. Do, do, you want well, to, do you want me to fill it in for you? Is it football? Um, yeah, but it's the journey, so it's not particularly all about football. It's you, your journey to become a footballer. Yeah, you play you play a young up and coming football player called Alex Hunter, yes, right? right? Who basically as he plays for Manchester United. Um, by the way, does he does he have to play for Man United? Because I wouldn't like that. That's quite restrictive. Well, the whole tour was about Manchester United, so I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, yeah, that's a I good mean, shout, though. Yeah, I would I mean, assume not. I, I wouldn't play it. So you can choose because I mean, club. yeah, maybe. Yeah, I assume that's the kind of thing that like. 95% of the football loving population wouldn't play it yeah obviously you'd, you'd want to be able to choose your own club yeah. but it was obviously Alex Hunter yes, who, played, I, for, who yeah. played for Manchester United, United at the time. and you got to make decisions based on his agents and everything off the field and stuff as mm-hmm. well you, you are you're actually able to contribute into decision making and sponsorships and stuff like that which is quite a quite a fun take on actually instead of just playing a game That's of cool. FIFA yeah. but it just looks like Marcus Rashford Without the name of Marcus Rashford, yeah, yeah, because obviously, I mean, he's just came onto the scene. Yeah, United exactly. United and, yeah, right. Um, okay. But yeah, no, that does look particularly yeah. good for a different, a different spin on FIFA. Mm. Well, it's got the managers in now. Yeah, yeah, all Jose the managers. Mourinho, yeah, right? he was, he was in the trailer as well. Um, what I got from it as well, he did, it didn't look like he was having a nice time. He looked really depressed off all the way through it. Jose Mourinho. No, no, oh, Alex, um, Hunter. Alex Hunter. That's how I'd be at the football. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me too, probably. Um, um but I um. So just Zelda, Kieran, that's it? Well, that was like the, the best thing for me, I thought. Everything else I was really excited for, but Zelda was kind of like... Because it looks like Shadow of the Colossus with Wind Waker. Right, and, uh, and now I'm going to uh, put everyone else in the spot. Um, who, which company won E3? Which company... Uh, aye, which, which company did the best? Craig. 
not being a fanboy and not being totally biased, Microsoft, the hands down, like Microsoft. Yep. End right. of right. Yep. Kieran. Sony. Yeah. Chloe. Sony. Um. I've read stuff. <laughs> I've, read stuff. Um, I've read stuff. Yeah, I've read what, stuff. What do the um, letters say? Um, well, uh, everything. I, I, I don't have an Xbox, so I obviously paid more attention to the to the uh, Sony stuff. Um, and, um, see, see, you shouldn't do that though. No, I know. Because sometimes things are coming out in both formats. Yes. That just yeah, that highlighted. Yeah, 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 highlighted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so to actually get a proper bearing on what's coming out yeah you really need to watch both oh yeah, yeah. Like, if, if I hadn't watched the We Happy Fears coming out and everything isn't it eventually I'm sure it's timed exclusive to Xbox it's timed exclusive on Xbox yeah, yeah the, but the, I wouldn't have known about that had I not mm-hmm. watched yeah the, pre- the preview members get it on <coughs> July mm-hmm. um, for Xbox and then it'll get rolled out to the Xbox users after that and then it goes on PS4 to, and PC yeah mm-hmm. um, the Bioshock sure. killer with yep. new Bioshock and well, it's the same guys yeah. that are doing it um, there's a, there's a lot of things coming out um, happening closer than I was expecting. Um, for example, the Resident Evil demo is out now. Chloe, that you've, is you've had a wee shot. Yes. Sorry, no, sorry. you go first. Yeah. Go first. Yes, I have had a I have had a, a very brief shot of it, as has Jack. And right. Nope, he did not enjoy it. I think the exact phrase was "PT ripoff" was used, and I'm quoting a Michael here from what I've read of it. <laughs> Um, a lot of people are thinking the exact same thing. Um, I've not played many Resident Evil games, but that's that doesn't look like any Resident Evil game I've played, and it was mm. trying too much to be a jump scare. Personally, I love horror games, yeah. but in my mindset, that's not Resident Evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of talk of is Capcom just jumping in the PT bandwagon and just testing the waters. It has now come out that everything in that demo will not appear in the game. Yeah, it's right. not going to be in the game it's whatsoever. The but I was a wee bit disappointed. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And as far as I know, it's a new protagonist as well. So no it's nemesis, not even no yeah. guy. Right. I I, to- I totally get Chloe's point because, mm-hmm. like, for me, Resident Evil is quite nostalgic mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. And for them to release a trailer and saying, "Oh, it's going back to its roots and all that," it never really touched its roots whatsoever. It was yeah. it was almost like receiving a brand new IP that pretty much did look like a rip off of PT. Mm-hmm. See, as someone I've had never ever 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 played a Resident Evil game. Yeah. Whoa. And, no, really? No, yeah. Never. Even I've played a Resident. I, I don't do scary things ever. I played Outlast, and that's like the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, but anyway, I played the Resident Evil demo, and I liked it. But that's probably because I've never played the Resident Evil. Because you're new to Resident. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, as someone who is fresh to it, and that, I, I really liked it. I thought it seemed like again, it, was it depends cool. on how you interpret it. Because obviously, it's fully functional for VR as well for, yeah. for PlayStation mm. VR. So do you look at it from a point of view and go? it's a new spin on Resident Evil mm-hmm. and look at it that way or do you look at it from it's a Resident Evil game's perspective I looked at it from a Resident Evil game's perspective and yeah. thought oh no you just look like PT and it doesn't mm-hmm. look like a Resident Evil see, whatsoever I never managed to play PT either um, see I played yeah. PT and I absolutely I loved I, it was one of those you love it and hate it yeah, at yeah, the exact yeah. same time that bit in the sink still fits I know out. definitely yeah um, but I'm thinking because I have played Resident Evil games, not to the extent most people have, uh-huh. but I've played that and I've also played PT. So I don't know when I was going through it, I was like, is it just a cheap man's PT? I'd much PT was far superior in my yeah. opinion. Um, this had some good jump scares, but again, it, it just didn't feel like Resident Evil. It was a try hard a wee bit, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I th- it's been described as them trying to test the waters, but I, d- I, I don't think it's a good idea. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it was scary. That's and for a horror game, that's all you need. That's all you need. Um, yeah. Is there anything that's came out that's kind of disappointed? You, you knew about before, and it's kind of, uh, I don't like where they're taking that, or I don't like how they're going with that? There was, from from my point of view, there was loads of games from last year's E3 that was announced and an up-and-coming project that just didn't even get a look in this year whatsoever. Right. So there was a lot of stuff yeah, that like, just got like totally not, yeah. not even a mention mm-hmm. that I was so looking forward to seeing more of this year and didn't get it. And I think for me, obviously, Chloe, you said you're looking really forward to seeing Mass Effect. That was a huge disappointment for me this year. See, um, this is going to hurt me to say, I was disappointed you didn't get a full-blown trailer. Yeah. <coughs> Personally, I think they're far enough into development, they could produce one. Well, see, that this was my point that <coughs> I spoke about as well, was last year at E3, we got the, the unveiling and the reveal yeah. and 
da 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 and this is how it's going to look and they gave you a, quite a brief description last year of what the game was going to do mm-hmm. and what it was going to look like this year just seemed to be a rehash of just that like, hey, all this over is again still here. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it was the Come fact out. that they went even to the, the point of origin again to say this is your character this is the world that you're going to be playing you're going mm-hmm. to be playing in a bigger environment and it makes me think that I know one of the writers left to go to Bungie yeah that was a while ago though. yeah right but it makes me think that see when that writer left mm-hmm. have they canned everything that they previously have done and maybe start it again and is that why mm-hmm. they've done like almost like a re-review see but I think they're trying to, they're trying to tease too much um, I didn't appreciate like obviously I was very excited about it and then to find out oh you'll get more information in fall I was like really you you could just tell me now. Yeah. Trying don't, to keep the hype. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Last year at the E3 when it was the the Johnny Cash music. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. The trailer, and I thought that was, was absolutely cool fantastic. It was, it was brilliant. And it showed you nothing. Yeah. It showed you absolutely next to nothing. Mm-hmm. But obviously, you get your protagonist walking, and you see the N7, and mm-hmm. you get Johnny Cash in the background, and it was great, and it was quite atmospheric. This one was like, it it looks it looks good mm-hmm. and the Mako's back yeah mm-hmm. and I'm the only person in the world that's actually happy about that mm-hmm. but that's it there's, there's it was quite muted do you, uh, not, do you not feel it was like quite instead of being turned up to 11 it was just a was summer like and summer. 7 aye, aye. summer aye. 7 yeah mm-hmm. I watched it was Playstation Access where over there so they managed to talk to one of the um, creators of it and Again, they gave you a wee bit of information. They pretty much said, look, it's nothing to do with Shepherd. It's set quite far in the future. But it was five minutes of him saying nothing. Nothing, yeah. And like, I get that you try to keep the mystery. I do get that. But surely you could have just produced the trailer and yeah. then spoke about the trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um, but I think... Oh, sorry. No, no. I think, I think for me, this E3 was... I ho- when I say a whole load of of nothing, I, d- I don't mean it like that. I mean like it's everything that we sp- that we spoke about mm-hmm. previously about getting a review yeah. mm-hmm. and not seeing anything for two three years, not getting a release date, seeing a title for a game and going, oh my god, I want that like tomorrow. When's it coming out? Oh well, it's I'm pre production, so mm-hmm. you're not going to even see a wind of it for like the next two three four years. So mm-hmm. um, true. Kieran, is there anything that's uh, the only thing that I. would that I previously liked and I think I don't like anymore was Scalebound ah good shout mate yeah nah, I'll, I'll jump on your bandwagon there I like, think everybody's jumped in that bandwagon yeah, yeah. Nah, like, it looks like Devil May Cry with bad voice bad actors voices, and monster yeah. hunter I, I, you know I, what I mean see, like, I thought for me see when I originally seen Scalebound like yeah. last year and then other trailers I thought looks very much like monster hunter mm-hmm. on bigger scale and I was like oh my god this is going to be absolutely incredible and then that trailer and reveal sort of just went flat for I me. I was just like, it looks cool, but no. Yeah. Um, going back to, face. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Going back to Mass Effect, there, that was, that was uh, on the EA press conference. Also on the uh, EA press conference was Star Wars stuff. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Do we that, have to talk about We it? have to right. talk about now, Star see, Wars. This podcast, we're, we're at almost 14 minutes already, yep. right? Mm-hmm. I could probably fill the next 45 minutes with you a could rant actually, about Star Wars. Like, by the time Craig finishes his rant here, No Man's Sky will be out. <laughs> Good show. Good show. <laughs> yes. um, before I get started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so, why? Firing. Why? why? Firing. What was the worst thing about it? <laughs> For yeah. me, mm. having a slot full stop. Right. If, see, if, if, I, if I was EA... Why did I give Star Wars a slot there? Yeah, they they filled their slot with, oh yeah, we've got some great Star Wars news, but you're not going to see anything from us till like 2019. Yeah, I, Th- I, thanks I very much. That. Um, you can go away now. Oh, but wait, next year for Battlefront content, you're getting two extra characters and a map. Thanks. Um, cheerio now. Oh yeah, but wait, there's more. We've got another eight games in development. Yeah. So what are they? Oh, we can't tell you. <laughs> Alright, okay, who's making them? Oh, we can't tell you. Oh, what are they going to be about then? No, we're just not going to tell you. But you'll see something maybe 2019. Right, just got off my stage now, thanks very much. <laughs> they, told you, they told you absolutely nothing. Let's face it, the, nobody nobody wants to hear about Battlefront. Well, I certainly don't. I no. have yeah. no interest in it. I do not care if you include Lando Calrissian in it, whatever. Yeah. I, I just don't care. I want a proper Star Wars yeah. game. Mm-hmm. To be more specific, I want Knights of the Old Republic. Yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what everyone wants. I, th- I like, think that's what's annoyed. Well, that's certainly annoyed me so much because I had so much high hopes for 
a decent Star Wars announcement oh. and got nothing. See when they, see when you they seen it coming up. Yeah. Oh my yep. god, and it's going to be Star Wars. They're going to do it. Yeah. They're going to announce something, yep. and it's going to be amazing. Oh cool! I'm getting a bunch of people talking yeah. at me that are working on a game but can't tell me can't what the game they're working about. on. It's annoying though as well though because like right now I think Star Wars is at the point where the the hype is kind of like peak because I mean we've got like all these new movies coming out from Disney and all that. Yeah. Announce your new games, tell us what they but are. Do you know, do but you know then what? at the same time I'm like, don't tell me what they are, but don't tell me if you're not going to tell me what they are, then don't tell don't me tell they me exist. Any, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But see what annoyed me the most was as soon as EA started the conference uh-huh. and came on stage. The first thing that flashed on the screen was a banner, ten minutes until Star Wars major reveals, and you're like, "Oh my god, right, There's okay, an actual count yeah." Then. And then you get a five minute warning, and then you get a, in the next few minutes we'll be revealing Star Wars, and then that was your reveal, and you're just like, oh "The my. fact that the only th- the only proper thing they showed you was for Battlefront." Yeah. Why the, the fact that they released half a game to begin with is utterly atrocious. Yeah. But. Nobody wants to see that. But that th- is not what people care about. Yeah. And even that, um, obviously, they introduced the X Wing VR yep. thing. Again, you saw what twenty seconds of if it. You're, if you're lucky, you, you actually got to see the inside of an X Wing, and then go into and space. And the light speed. And <laughs> that was it. And yeah. you're like, whoa, what? What just happened there? And then you get Star Wing VR, and and you're and you're like, really? Because they're publishing that as a game, but it's a mission. That that bugged me. Like I'm not going to go into that either because that whole VR thing bugged the maybe, living. Maybe we'll get another well. mission with a season pass. Don't d- don't because I'm <laughs> oh. no I'm no ranting anymore. Yeah yeah I'm yeah. disappointed at Star Wars. Right. Yes. Um, we'll follow on that theme now. VR. What did we think? Um, I know you. Not really like, talked about it that much, did they? I feel really. Like, I feel like people did really? nothing but talk about it. That's exactly what they done. Mm-hmm. Um, so so, I think I just could have zoned out to be honest. Must have made, have, right, so Batman's gonna be in VR. Yeah. No, I saw that, but aye. Far, far point. That's a Mar- that's the Mars one, isn't it? No, you're not talking about but, Batman. But we've just missed our whole point here, right? So we've just went Star Wars. Mm-hmm. So we're getting an X-wing Star Wars, not a game, a mission. Yeah. Thanks very much. Mm-hmm. That's stupid. We've then got Batman VR, which is not a full game. Yeah. It's it's, it's a tiny wee thing. It's a level. You are not getting a full. You are not getting a twelve-hour game. You are getting like, maybe half an hour, forty minutes. If you're lucky, Jesus. so you're getting a level from Batman, right? You've then got Final Fantasy. Oh, great! Final Fantasy in VR. You've Plays then got Prompto. Yes. You do not play as the main character in this game. You play as Prompto. Prompto. No, nope, I remember now. Okay. Which is probably one level. Again. Which and is not a full game. But you know what they'll end With up the doing? Gun and stuff. I don't because um, with Final Fantasy 15 they're kind of. They're releasing it, then you're getting the multiplayer, then yeah. you're getting the additional characters. And this is what they'll do with VR, I'm convinced, 100%. So you're playing as Prompto. Then in maybe four months, oh, for X amount, you can now play you can as now buy, Gladios. Yeah, you can now use and this now character. You can play yeah, as, I see that happening. Mm-hmm. I, I cannot get past VR being an utter gimmick. I, I really can. Um, when I say I can, I think I can, but from... For me, Sony just went, see all our eggs, see that basket over there, just chuck them all in there that says VR, and we'll run with that and we'll see how people react. I mean, you even heard from the audience responses from the VR stuff that it just wasn't yeah, received no really very it. well at yeah. all. Um, no. But everything, nothing was a full bona fide game. Mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. was, oh, you'll get this mission, and you'll get that mission, you'll get this level. And you're like, great, but I'm not going to go and spend 20, 25 quid to play a game because that, I can put a headset on even that though and then you're like 450 for the headset and move controls and stuff yeah but and the cat eye I'm going to play it for like an hour with all the titles combined even then if we go back to what we were talking about before Resident Evil Biohazard yeah the true yeah. Uh, the teaser yeah so if I buy VR I better be getting that for nothing because the, it was for free so if they if I have to play that, I have to play that. If I choose to play that in VR, it needs to be it for nothing. It needs to be free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. get that. Yeah. And especially because that game, you can you can do that teaser in maybe ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. that that's, that, it was like 10, 15 yeah. minutes. No, um, I w- I was very disappointed in it, and I think it's exactly like you said. Sony's putting so much faith in this. And and do you know what? That's why. That's why I've jumped on the bandwagon and said that I think Microsoft is better because they chose... Microsoft could have unveiled Mm -hmm. VR. They could have, easily. But they chose not to. Mm -hmm. Instead, concentrate on 
the strengths are that this is the first E3 conference. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent again. This is the first E3 conference I've seen Microsoft sort of wield their weapon and say that's our gauntlet. Microsoft have always reacted to what Sony reveals. Yeah. But this time round, Microsoft have put the gauntlet down They've and been went rather than you, yeah, you, you come after us now, Sony. And I think that's Sony's went oh poo. And big broad terms. See, I, I, I still don't feel like they, they showed too much of it to annoy me. Like, what, of VR? Yeah. Um, the thing that bugged me almost was, the, even from an Ubisoft point of view as well, they showed off um, the new game called Eagle Flight, yep. um, oh, which that. looked like a cross between football and Quidditch and obviously on VR. Can we just talk for a second about how awkward multiplayer VR looks when right. they're all sitting oh there just looking God, at each other? And, and, <laughs> and that's, that's my point, right? We, we've all spoke about how to show off VR properly and to get it to sell to the customer, the customer has to experience it for themselves. Yeah. So why would Sony and Ubisoft take up that time to show off Eagle Flight with four people sitting on a couch <laughs> with controllers and all you're seeing is on a screen going, oh my God, this looks great. Now, don't get me wrong, see the four people on the couch, looks as if they're having an amazing time. Aye. But see for the audience and everybody else watching it, you're like, oh my God, graphically the game... Ain't that great? That was kind of cringy. I'm not gonna lie. It was. That, that was terrible. like. I mean, I, I think every three there are kind of cringy moments, but that's. I, I feel as if all I'm doing is just that like. Was up there. No, like, no. Well, shunning everything we've already spoke about. Like me a so few weeks far. ago. <laughs> yeah, a wee bit. Yeah. Before we move on, obviously, um, Fallout is going to HTC. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about that? Well, I was I was going to move on to I was going to move on to a couple of things that we are looking forward to in a way, um, because obviously. I just wanted to tie it in with VR. Yeah, no, that's it, that's it. and I thought that was gonna be, gonna gonna be my first one. Um, Talking about Fallout though, I liked something Todd Howard said the other day because he did that. This is like completely nothing to do with anything you said, but they were talking about it, and <laughs> I, I know, I know, I'm terrible. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, but basically they said to him, "I kill," um, and he was talking about like the the dialogue options and stuff in Fallout because people didn't like it, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we tried to do something with different with the dialogue," and he accepted that they had made a mistake, but work, they had yeah. kind of learned from their mistake, and they were gonna try and fix it for their next game I was, like, ah, I was like that. that's probably the best response you could have got from yeah. it mm-hmm. um, it just works going back to Chloe uh, Fallout and VR mm-hmm. HTC mm-hmm. as far as I'm aware it is HTC yeah it's not so it's not on Playstation VR no solely HTC uh, for the moment anyway so what what How, does that mean yeah is, well you know how you've got the Samsung VR yeah, yeah. it's it'll HTC basically so it'll basically be, be like an app so it'll basically be mobile so it'll be. Do you know how they've got that? Oh yeah, yeah. See how they've like got the, 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 the game on their, the, the yeah. app on their phones just now. Yeah, right. yeah. that'll, that'll be it. That'll yeah. basically be a VR app, which I think is particularly clever, because yeah. they haven't, they haven't Fallout hasn't pigeonholed themselves into saying, oh, we're going to give you VR content in the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're going down the different avenue. You're going, well, we'll give you a, the same experience, but VR, as yeah. an app. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you want to play Fallout on your console, by yeah. all means, on you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which I think is good because it's. It's sort of putting a partition up and saying we're still going to create DLC and stuff for Fallout, which is great, but we're also going to accommodate the new tech of VR and give you something totally different. So, yeah. well done. Yeah. That, that, that gets my applause. But on HTC, as we said, obviously, it's not on Samsung VR, but again, Microsoft fanboy head on. Microsoft haven't unveiled which company that they're choosing to run VR with as of yet, which is quite a clever move. Mm-hmm. Well, they were using a Galaxy Gear on the stage the other day. For Minecraft? Yeah, that yeah, was really weird. Which was dead bizarre. I thought, hmm, really? So, they didn't advertise the fact that they were using it on the Samsung. No. But you knew that's but what they, it was. You knew that's what it was. So, I think Microsoft might even just be holding out and seeing how things play out between October and... I think they're playing the waiting game. Yeah, I definitely, yeah. I definitely think they are. Which is quite the smart thing to do, because... Mm. It could yeah. fall on its face. Could do. I think it will. So, um, are we going to put some structure in and maybe just go down the list of? Yeah, well, I was going to. I was going to say um, Fallout. Um, what do we think of that? The um, DLC. Yeah, the DLC. Uh, so uh, you go world and you can do your own vault. Maybe stuff. that's why they bumped up the price of the season pass. Uh, yeah, that that, that, that would make sense to me. I, th- I think that was the confirmation of why they did. Because yeah. Yeah. Well, other than that, nothing about the DLC or that made me think. Oh, I'm going to buy that game again. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, would you go back and buy it again now, though? See, I was thinking about it like because it was on sale on PSN the last couple of days, and I was like, I might just download this, and I would want to play it again, but it's the whole thing about I wouldn't have my save because I got rid of my Xbox. Mm. <laughs> um, speaking of something, would you would you go back and play again? Skyrim Remaster. It's coming out on the twentieth of October. Huge. Yeah. Massive. Mm. Oh, you, you totally went 
dead muted there. Yeah. Really? What? How can you My, not think I, this game is going to be huge? I think. I think it, that's the thing. I think Skyrim is a huge game. No, I don't mean size wise. No, but that's what I mean. Though. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I, know, I know. I know. I think. I know. I know yeah. what you mean. But my problem is, uh, how many hours did, Kira? How many hours did you put into Skyrim? Uh, too many. Uh, give Give me a figure. Like three hundred. Are you going to do that again? Probably. Yes. Well, that's Kieran. I'm wrong, wrong person. Wrong, to ask. Yeah. But my po- point is, with, with so everything else coming out, everything else coming out this year, who's got time to put 300 hours into a game they've already put 300 hours into already? More, just because about more people than you would think. No, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, yeah. and people will, people will. But I just, I, I think it's going to be big because it's Skyrim and Skyrim. You're going to put it out there. See, over the course of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if that outsells some of the AAA titles coming out this year. I, I uh, feel like... Uh, yeah, like, no, uh, yeah uh, it, it probably will sell. It probably will sell that that numbers, but will people play that amount? See, to be honest they'll with you... Yeah. They'll get about 30 hours well, in. That, with, no, with they won't. You're going to say, oh, they'll get about 30 hours in and think I've played it all before. You don't play RPGs to the same extent. Like I know, but it, and, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know, but then uh, also, say, say though, for example, you get that and you're playing that for like a fortnight, and then the new RPG comes out. But the the other thing you're forgetting about we'll is the fact that. that Skyrim on consoles is going to have mod support now as yeah. well. So yeah. like, you it, got it opens, to sorry, remember, you there's lots of people. Like I was saying this last week, I think it was Final Fantasy X is an yeah. RPG mm-hmm. and uh, in the PS2 I must have put a good 200 hours into it mm-hmm. I then bought it in PS3 mm-hmm. I then upgraded so I had to get rid of it and I'm playing it in PS4 I've stopped playing it because I'm playing The Witcher mm-hmm. but I'm going to go back to it I know for a fact I'm never going to trade that game in thinking mm-hmm. well I've played 50, 60 hours of it that's me I'm done it's always going to be there Skyrim will be the exact same yeah. for people they might not play it 300 mm-hmm. hours on, on solid uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get that no, as well I, it's going to be a game that I, you're, you're going to have loads of new content mm-hmm. you're going to have your mods mm-hmm. and the community that play the Skyrim games are going to pick it up and play it for a full year a year and a half they might not play it non-stop mm-hmm. but it'll be one of their one of their go-to games whenever they're going. Oh, I wonder what I'll play. Ah, Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, people will actually sacrifice newer games in order to play. That, play yeah. it. I right, think you're so right. you get, yeah. you get Skyrim remastered and mm-hmm. you get Titanfall Two is out in the exact same, yeah. uh, exact same day. Yeah. People will choose Skyrim over Titanfall. Oh yeah, Fall. yeah. There, there are a lot of people that will. I mm-hmm. think people will actually stop playing Final Fantasy Fifteen. Fifteen to go to to go Skyrim. to Skyrim. Totally agree. Really? Yep. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, because it has uh-huh. it has the pull of like can I know it's like five years ago, but it has that kind of nostalgic pull to people. Like, whereas Final Fantasy Fifteen, it looks absolutely amazing, but it's like it's a new thing and it's not turn based and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it's different to a lot of people and it's new territory. My idea of remasters though is just some yeah. more I don't know, a lot smaller games than something than than something that Skyrim size. That's that's been my my thing with, with remasters. I, I I well, I don't I, know because. If you if you think of the remasters, for it, so you've got Final Fantasy twelve has just been announced, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's a Final Fantasy game. So you're easy 100, 150 hours. Oh, yep. Final Fantasy ten, so that's an easy yeah. two hundred. Final Fantasy seven remake, which yeah. we never heard anything about, which, by the way. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna say. See, that. there's a, there's another one. Sony. Uh, yeah. Why? They, they Why did, did you not hear about that. Final Fantasy? No. See. No. Nope. Sorry, ran over again. That's fine. So. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> You've got that that game <laughs> coming out, so that is e- folk will put easy three hundred hours into that. Yeah, but easy. Final Fantasy VII, no, that I can understand that, but that Why? wasn't out. It's the same game. What do you mean? It's the same game as Final Fantasy VII that came out in the PS One. Yes, but exactly, exactly. The PS One was three consoles ago, not last one. Right, I'll I'll put it to you. Interesting point, Craig. Mm-hmm. Put it to you this way, right? So Final Fantasy VII has come out on mobiles mm-hmm. so ios and android mm-hmm. and the uh, console mm-hmm. i currently have it for ios mm-hmm. i have it, the ps1 original discs mm-hmm. i have it on the console and mm-hmm. i will buy it yeah no i mean i've played uh, every uh, variation of that game i think uh, i think remasters of this size will sell but i don't think people will play them as much as they would <laughs> argument sake the last of us remaster compared to the people that played it originally Mm. And Skyrim was a multi-format thing, so it's not as if you can have people jumping across, and never played Skyrim before, and now they're going to jump into it. No, I, I'm going to disagree with you. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Look, I, I'm like saying, I think it'll... Don't uh, even play games. I think it'll be... <laughs> exactly. Oh, you just read the manuals. <laughs> I know, no, what do you, you, you know? You, you exactly. know nothing. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it'll sell. I think it'll sell. I mean, like, you're not going to get 300 hour out the manual again, Michael. Like. <laughs> no, I th- like I say, I think it'll sell. I think it'll do well sales-wise, but I think the amount of people... And I think the amount of people that will just do that and just have it in their collection because it's Skyrim, I think there'll be a lot of <laughs> folks doing that. But the second something shinier comes out, I think people will jump. Have you seen how shiny Skyrim looks, though? I know, and it looks <laughs> so shiny. But it was shiny at the time, and what, now it's what, shiny? four or five years ago. I don't know. I, I, ju- I just it's, it's remasters to me, like I say, are games you can complete in a fortnight. Having that experience again over a fortnight, and that's fine because you live that experience again for in that in that in that period of time, and then you move on to something else. I just don't see people putting so, argument take three hundred hours into. Ev- Going on the back of that, why are the most remastered games RPGs then? <sighs> Boom. But, but 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 do people go back and Get play them? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Do people go back and play them? No. Like I say, I, I think Skyrim will sell. But the, the numbers, but I don't think that the people going back to play them. But going by your mindset of oh, a remaster should only be two weeks, then uh-huh. if that was the case, they wouldn't be bringing out so many RPGs of this scale. They would just be remastering. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, the remasters like The Last of Us, uh, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, mm-hmm. yeah, they came out. I never went back and played. Well, Last of Us is my first time was playing it on the mm-hmm. PS4, but I never went back and played Heavy, Heavy Rain. Rain. I think well, the, the difference the, is with those kind of games as opposed to RPGs is something like Skyrim is a different experience when you play through it again. Like, yeah, it's not always the same. You can play through it different differently. It's not. You, you can go. You can go different side quests. You can yeah. obviously create your own story again. Mm-hmm. So everything that you remember doing in Skyrim previously, you'll go, oh, do you know what? I'm going back through it this time. So I'll do the total polar opposite of what i done and yeah. have a total new experience playing the game. So it's a total shiny new game. Yeah, I don't know. I, ju- I just I, I don't think it'll be... I th- like I say, I think it'll sell the numbers, but I think the second... I think a lot of people will keep it in the collection and not really play it as much as they did originally. Um, that's, that's, I, I think I, we're going to have to agree to disagree yeah, yeah that's, think, that's, that's I think, fine I, that's, I think we all good. think you're wrong <laughs> yeah, that is basically <laughs> that's, what's that's happening that's, that's, well I, we don't think he's wrong uh, we know yeah. okay, okay. Um, so Bethesda gave their announcements of Fallout 4 DLC yep. Dishonored 2 oh, like, oh, that, huge announcement yeah. that looks um, good Quake Champions for PC that got like no response there whatsoever yeah, yeah. Um, mm. trailer was cool but yeah. But that's yeah. that. Yeah. So instead of announcing a sequel to Prey, obviously being Prey Two, mm-hmm. which we spoke about, they've it, given us almost a reboot of Prey. Is yeah. it a reboot? Is it a confirmed reboot? To uh, me it looks like a reboot. It looks like a reboot, but the trailer was really cool, so Yeah. So I let's go with a cool trailer reboot then. Yeah. A cool trailer reboot. I like um, the trailer for that game. Obviously we've just spoke in quite length about the Skyrim remaster yep. on the twentieth of October. And they've also announced Officially, an Elder Scrolls Legends card game. They talked about that last year, didn't they? Yes, very, very, very briefly. Yeah, I yeah, and they didn't it. really expand on it this time round. They showed you a trailer and stuff. They were just like, it, it was again just a kind of rehashing of, oh hey, this is still here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is happening by the way. Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See you later. Um, announcements that we didn't get, which we kind of wanted, was a sequel to Evil Within, which we kind of briefly spoke about last week. Um, Another Wolfenstein game, which I thought was definitely although, on the cards. Yeah, there yeah, was. You, did you see? Maybe we'll be able to find a picture of it. But did you see, see when they started up the thing, the the conference, and they had the animation on the screen, and they had the program loading. Yeah, yeah. And it was, what was it? Was it New Colossus? Was that not the? Uh, no, I've lost me. But it had code. executed programs, and it had things that were out already, and it was all of their all of their games, and it had dates next to them, and it had one that had blank dates, and it was called New Colossus. So there's been a lot of speculation about how. This could be the new Wolfenstein. Interesting then, yeah. I'm sure it was New Colossus. So that sort of summed up Bethesda's. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought it was alright. For the the first first conference on E3, I thought it was alright. A couple of good good. announcements. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, Skyrim probably being the the big... That and Dishonored, obviously, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. Dishonored 2 and Skyrim are probably what... The pick of the uh, the bunch out there. Yeah, definitely. I think I preferred the conference last year with Todd, but that's just because... Because you like Todd, he has a nice yeah, voice. Todd, yeah. Does he? Does he soothe you? Soothe he does. Your soul? He does. Like, I, I, it, it just it just works. Um, um, moving on to EA, um, 
uh, same day as the Skyrim is Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2, which now has a single player, single which player. is massive. Yeah, I, I think it looks crap. Looks absolutely like, right. Yeah, I've spoken about this before. I love the first Titanfall yeah. game. Like, I'd, oh, just brilliant. And see, it looks like, see from the multiplayer trailer and stuff, like, I'm not too bothered about single player. Looks cool, but oh well. Um, I think it's just, it's something that a lot of people we're asking for it and yeah. he is pretty much turned around and says huh, oh, you're right. well, is it, it. as well though it looks to me like they've left the movement exactly how it was didn't need to be touched at all and kind of expanded on other things like it looked as if there are more kind of like more things in the game to work towards like the work kind of more weapons shown and stuff yeah. whereas in the first game you had like an assault rifle a submachine gun yeah. I think and you've got like quadruple more the amount of titans than you had in the first one so you've got like six more titans that are all fully customizable which and is why i felt that there wasn't enough like there weren't enough things to obtain in the game to make people play it for long and that's why yeah. it fell off so quickly yeah. mm-hmm. whereas the second one I, th- I think it could last a while. so could this be a job for hats off to ea for maybe listening yeah mm-hmm. definitely and definitely. obviously getting mm-hmm. the th- and especially now it's not an Xbox One exclusive anymore, yep. so it's now going on, Ooh, going on to true. PC and that. PS4. It's a game that I really want to be brilliant, to yeah. be honest. It, it was my tip for um, the first true cross-platform. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll obviously, see. that wasn't announced, but October's still quite yeah, a long way well away, away, so well away. Um, yeah. anything could happen, but that's mm-hmm. still my tip for first cross-platform, considering the amount of money that Microsoft obviously I pumped into the I, first one. I'm 90% sure. I'm, I'm confident that, yeah, if it doesn't happen straight away, it will happen with yeah, Titanfall happen. 2. Yeah. I think it would be a good one to do it with as well, because then if the player base does fall off a bit, you've still got it kind of reinforced by the fact that it's cross-platform. It's cross-platform, mm-hmm. not See, definitely. I think people would buy that simply if it was cross-platform. cross-platform. Just cross-platform. because it was, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, see, that, that's I was talking about this earlier with a, with a few customers and stuff as well. See, regardless of, like, a developer could go out there and make the worst game on planet Earth, right? Mm-hmm and say oh by the way this is your first ever cross platform game it's going to sell people because would buy people it people would buy it regardless because yeah. they obviously they want to, they want to see what it feels like yeah hopefully um, Titanfall is not the worst game of all <laughs> well they, they, this not. is true yeah hopefully not hopefully um, by by everything that's signalled on it in the trailers and stuff it does yeah. look absolutely great so we'll wait and see have we um, ranted about the next bit enough yeah we're, we're yeah, not we're talking not about that yeah, no, no, no. he, he was, announced Star Wars end of thanks yeah. um, well the week yeah. before Titanfall was uh, Battlefield 1 looks see, amazing but me, uh, but do you know what disappointed me see hearing that they're leaving do you know they're leaving the French out of a game of about the First World War the uh, French are included yeah. as premium DLC. Well, there's, there's there's no flag waving involved, so yeah. Like, <laughs> no. I know. Um, oh. oh, we're gonna go. F- um, it looks French, brilliant though. It does look really good. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the first time I watched. Like, I've seen all the Battlefield pre-release stuff and all that um, before E3, but it's the first trailers and gameplay that I watched, and I went, "Oh my god, that looks absolutely incredible." Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really clever as well, though. See how when they showed like the the conquest stream, and yeah. they had. A good mixture of like YouTubers, and then they had like Terry Crews and Snoop Dogg and, and stuff standing for it. Oh, yeah. like what is happening here? And all Snoop Dogg done was he moved back and forward and reloaded his weapon. That's and all I seen him do. Broke the law. And broke well, the he law. was standing yes. there. Yes. Did you see though? They him and his little group all had zero kills to like five and seven deaths. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. notice that. But it was like your secret weapon hasn't worked. Yeah. For you. Um, <laughs> is it a, obviously we're we're going to go down the list and dates yeah. and stuff will become more apparent but straight away we've announced well we've spoke about four or five games there already and every single date is within a week a or week. two weeks uh, of one another. Yeah. so is it going to be a case of september and october is just going to be ram jam holy roly poly jam packed full of nah we'll get to august and everything will get delayed to oh, 2018 <laughs> that's what i'm saying i don't trust see anything that's announced for ah, at least november it's especially no nah, mm-hmm. i don't trust it yeah Mm-hmm. So, so now is Dishonored 2 are we, not, are we going to see nah, that it'll year? come out I, I trust Bethesda to right. bring it out it'll be, it'll be buggy because it's Bethesda mainly because yeah. that is Bethesda. 11th of November clearly planned that's the the day that Fallout 4 came out yeah last year that's true that's I'm true mm-hmm. pretty sure don't quote me on this but I think that is that the day that Skyrim came out if it's it's not far off it mm-hmm. it was either the 11th or the 13th that no, it was the 11th it was the 11th. You've made one 11th. of those statements where we go, ah, we still looked at that before. <laughs> the 11th of November is the Bethesda day. Um, no, I, th- I think you're definitely right because Skyrim came out on the 11th of November. I remember that because there was a competition if a couple would name their baby after something in Skyrim and it was born uh, on the 11th of November. I wonder how many people actually called their kids Skyrim. Dragony no, Smith is, it was <laughs> is five this year. Really, really the listener. Weird. But they got 
free Bethesda games for life. Oh, happy days then, aye. It's, the it's long getting, sorted for the games. The kids are getting bullied, but... <laughs> <I'm playing Bethesda laughs> Psychological <laughs> torment for the next <laughs> however many years. 15, yeah. you can change your name at 15. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 15 years of torment. Anyway, sorry, um, um, after no, no, Battlefield. Yeah, uh, obviously Chloe um, is looking forward to Mass Effect Andromeda. No release date for that? Is that not this year? No, it's 100% not this year. They, they came out and says that it will 100% be next year. Um, they said the start of, but obviously we games like this, the start of could be anywhere up to June. Yeah. I, I think for me, if we don't see another trailer plus a gameplay trailer before Christmas this year, I don't think we're going to get that next year at all. No. Well, they they said fall. Yeah. Fall this year, fall. you'll get more information. Yeah. So you need to have a trailer and release date by what September? Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Um. We've got the Alex Hunter story uh, in FIFA, and that's out on the 29th of September. Um, the pre-orders for that in stores, particularly, like, well, obviously I can only speak because I'm in Northern, mm-hmm. um, like, has went absolute nuts. People, yeah, it's mental. People have loved the new introduction of the journey, mm-hmm. plus what they've done to FIFA this time round mm-hmm. with the, the whole manager aspect and stuff. And I know it does seem like small changes and things, but it's almost like crossing the bridge to get to the perfect game. Yep. And... FIFA do it every year and announce something, announce something, announce something, but they're slowly getting there and putting more and more. And for me, this could be one of the most complete FIFAs for a good while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, of all the uh, E3s I can remember, this one, for some reason, as you were saying, um, feels more heavier for FIFA. Yeah. More substantial than anything that's went well, previously. Did anyone show Pez? No, no, because I saw Konami well there. They had a booth and it yep. was empty. It was empty. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have dated Pez for um, like again two weeks. Mm-hmm. Be- I think it's two weeks before FIFA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but no one's seen because remember the leaked Pro Evo before. Yeah, yeah um, before, b- before like, E three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they technically didn't really show in. Did you notice that that everyone that that got a leak before E three never got shown anything at E three, which mm-hmm. I thought was was quite sort of oh, all right, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, including the, the new PS4. But anyway, that's a different matter. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. EA. Did that finish up EA for us. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. much yeah. There, there was nothing else. Um. They introduced their new um the sports tournaments and all that, which is going to go practically worldwide with like Madden and um NHL and FIFA. So they're going to introduce like worldwide tournaments where everyone's getting prize money for being the it's best in the world and stuff. So okay. Yeah. Not excited? No, that, that, I thought that took the esports thing to a, a different that, that level. Is cool, yeah, no, that's, that's but I'm not good at it. So. They're doing, <laughs> um, EA's doing a lot of things for, for charity and for small independent developers now as well. That's where good EA on. are taking a lot of uh, indie developers that are struggling to obviously manufacture and produce games. They're giving them the cash injection that they need to bring the game out. And then all the money from the game goes back into that company as well. So, yeah, fair play. Mm-hmm. Good Very stuff, good. EA. Um, next on the list uh, we've got Ubisoft um, is there anything straight away that grabs you from the Ubisoft list Watch yeah. Dogs 2 Watch Dogs 2 Park. I, I have to say Watch Dogs was the only thing that I thought was oh, get away but, I'm, I'm really looking forward well, to see, South Park but I think it's because I've not played the first one I'm not 100% invested in it yet um um, I know. I've, I've, I've everything I've seen so far in, uh, from Ubisoft stuff. It's the South Park uh, one. It's jumped out at me. Fractured butthole. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I am glad you said that. Certainly, uh, you, you didn't want to say that. <laughs> no, just I didn't. That I had Certainly to. that. And, yeah. and Watch Dogs was sort of the. Yeah, Watch Dogs as well. But I've I've seen more people more chatter yeah. about uh, but, South Park. But saying too. that, I said right at the start of the podcast that Steep was one of the big things that I was looking forward to, mm-hmm. which does look. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put it out there. It looks amazing, but I don't think it's got the capability of delivering what they said it might deliver. Watch Dogs one, the first um, Watch Dogs. Yeah. For example, I mean the the, the first time that appeared at an E3, um, people were falling over themselves to try and pre-order it, and then it came out, and then it was. Yeah. See, I'm uh, I'm gonna buy Watch Dogs too. Yeah. 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 I am also Day one purchase. I am also now not gonna watch anything else about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I was planning yeah. on doing as well. I was like, totally just switch off and just go. I know it's coming out. I know the date that it's coming out. It ain't gonna get pushed back because 
as we've spoke about before, how many times does Ubisoft create a title and then the second learn from the mistakes yeah. and the second yep. one's absolutely amazing. Yep. So let's just take from what we know from Watch Dogs and just go, I we're getting it. Yep, one hundred percent. Yep. Um, and hope somewhere in the back of your head that it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, the new Tom Clancy. Um, this is a game I want to like more yeah. than I actually will. I believe. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll I'll reserve judgment until later on in the until year. Until I see more of it, yeah, because yeah. just now all I've seen is it looks a bit like The Division, but you can go on motorbikes and stuff. Yeah, mm. but a wee bit with Division stroke GTA and sort of mash them together with <laughs> ah, a few different elements. Ah, and I can see that, yeah. So yeah. Ubisoft have Tain, Watch Dogs and The Division and made Ghost Recon. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. But um, as we've said before, when we spoke about when The Division first got released and its reviews and stuff, mm-hmm. we said that Ubisoft would take The Division's and template use it, yeah. and, and use that for their benchmark. I do... Sorry. To produce better games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really like the trailer and stuff for Ghost Recon. Yeah, it's, like, quite, it's, it's, it's dynamite. A couple I, of transitions good. and stuff that are really cool, like yeah. with the, mm-hmm. the blood. Does look um, good. Well, the release dates, we've got the Watch Dogs down here for the 15th of November. Are we seeing that this year? Aye, not yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I think Ubisoft have learned from the delay from the first one yeah. that not to muck people about this right. time round. Not to say that it won't happen with any other title that obviously they've announced, but mm-hmm. I think with Watch Dogs, a sort of tender one. That that, mm-hmm. And that's like their usual Assassin's Creed slot. Yep. Yeah. So they don't yeah. have an Assassin's it's Creed, Creed exactly. So they, they need that's to true. have this in November, yeah. to be honest. Um, totally agree. And South Park, 6th of December. Um, yes, I'm. I'm confident it will. Come oh, out. really? Are you? Yep. The amount of times that Stick of Truth get delayed, remember? True, but I think just because six of December, it's going to tie in perfectly for Christmas. For Christmas, they are going to get that out. Yeah. By hook or by crook, they yeah, will see, get I was, it out. I was quite. Su- as, as we as obviously you said earlier, Chloe, any game that gets a sort of late November, early mm-hmm. December title, you sort of try and benchmark for early next year. I was kind of thinking that when they announced the date, because mm-hmm. when they were in the, the conference, they asked Matt and Trey for a release date and they looked at each other and didn't see anything mm. but then the, the Ubisoft guy that we were with went 6th of December and they just looked at him and went yeah 6th of December as if to say are oh, you just plucked that out of thin air mate mm. so here's hoping it is because I'd love to see it this year because mm. it looks amazing um, they've got it's still turn based they've still kept all those elements in it but now you can move and push your characters around and turn based so you've basically got a real time element as well mm. and it's all superhero based which is awesome um, we're, not, the coon. <laughs> we're not getting an Assassin's Creed uh, game this year, but we are getting a movie. Um, that I uh, yeah. That's the fast bender. Yes, yes he is. Um, You're shaking your head. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be funny. I'm not looking forward to it. Are you, are you over uh, the whole assa- like? Are you over the whole Assassin's Creed as a as a game, or are you not just see, wanting to see a movie? See, to be honest with you, I um, I w- played one. Didn't enjoy it. Played two, loved it. Mm-hmm. Kind of went off the Assassin's Creed bandwagon a wee bit, and mm-hmm. then came back in, in Unity, and obviously we all know what happened with Unity, yep. and it was just horrible. Gave it a benefit of doubt. Played Syndicate, loved it. Absolutely loved it. I heard there was an Assassin's Creed movie. I was like, I okay. I don't. I don't believe in movies based on games. Games. Yeah. I, I don't. Never I just good. don't think they're a good idea. Super Mario. Mm, Bob Haskins. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you go a week without mentioning that it's amazing found out that Michael Fassbender was in it I, was like, I, I really don't think Michael Fassbender is capable of actually doing a bad performance I think he is a very good actor yeah. but then obviously you're hearing it's what 60% outside the animus yes, yes. no I, I don't I don't want to see a film about a world we live in yeah. I, I don't like the world we live in I want to you want to see the I want to see, yeah, you want no, to see a guy running up walls and jumping yeah. off and stabbing people with a stabby yeah, thing exactly. Exactly. Yeah. no one yeah. plays you want Assassin's see, Creed ah, you for want, the present day stuff yeah, you want to see the Assassin's Creed realm as opposed to what it's like when you're not in the I animus. want to see mm-hmm. the Assassins yes mm-hmm. I, I don't want to see but the do, do you think the movie would work if they don't do it that way because bear in mind a lot of people will go and see the movie having not played well, see, the game I, I think this is their idea. This is their way to get new fans yeah. in. Um, and I completely understand where they're coming from. And to a point, I agree. But after playing the Assassin's Creed series, I'm a bit like, well... The whole point of this Assassin's Creed series was to follow the story of the ancestors. Yes. I've never heard somebody turn around and say their favourite part was the present day stuff. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. never have. Because that's not the part you're interested no. in. You play it to see the history, to see what it was like. Yeah. To run about and all that. And... 
totally just, agree. So is this is this then this is going to be a movie not for the fans of the game, but to get more fans of the game? I think they're trying to find a way to appeal to their fans, i.e., by having the stuff but, that yeah, last. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, explaining what the animus does in that way they can get new fans. Yeah. yeah, like from what we've seen, the free running stuff and the stuff that they showed in the trailer looks close to the game, which is cool. Like he, they had him like running up walls. Yeah, and stuff the walls. In it, and it yeah, looked yeah. like how it looks in the game, which I thought was really cool. But at the same time, I'm like, it's gonna come out, and it's not gonna be good. I think it's a video well, game. The movie. animus thing grabbing him and picking him up. I mean, yeah, he's not like a toy. From I think like that's. I think that was more to better illustrate the bleeding effect. Maybe two people that to, haven't played the game. And see that, uh, and which makes sense to me. But yeah. at the same time, I'm like, yeah, you're changing things. But see, that's where you're, like you're going to then get a clear divide. Yeah. It's like going to see your your favorite movie being rebooted. And you get a different spin on it, and you go, "No, that's not how it was when I watched it." Do you know yeah. what I mean? And it's the same thing. It's like when you've played the Assassin's Creed games, and you go, that's "No, that right. that's not that didn't happen." In and the you're game, like, so "Yeah," and in your head, you're like, "That's not how it should yeah, be." Yeah, and and that's all about trying to make the movie appeal to a, a wider a audience, wider audience yeah. and capture capture a better imagination than just the game itself. I mm-hmm. was reading about it when they first announced it, and they were talk- they were doing the I don't want to say it was Polygon, but I think it might have been they were doing the trailer breakdowns and all that. And you know, obviously, his the assassins' blades you get, yeah, yeah, that you get in every single, every single, yep, classed as an Easter egg. I've seen that. How is it? It's an Assassin's Creed yep. movie. This is not an Easter egg. Yeah. That is part. It's, pr- it's pretty of much your bread and butter mm-hmm. of. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, w- I, for some reason, I think it is because I know the backstory of the Assassin's Creed, but that really annoyed me. I got really, really annoyed yeah. by that because it's not an Easter egg. Easter eggs, in my view, are like oh. Like um, some of like the Marvel films, and you see like outfits or yeah, superheroes yeah. Yeah. in the background, which leads on to something something not totally different, but it ties in. Uh-huh. To sort of, yeah. But at the same time, you can get through the full movie without it actually, of course, happening. Whereas this, that is the staple of Assassin's Creed. Yeah. That's the most famous weapon yeah. that he's got, and it got reduced to any egg yeah. and that's what's made me lose a mm. lot of faith in it. Yeah. Um, Ubisoft as well in movies, um, the Division movie. Was that mentioned? No, 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 but no, bad never idea. Got, never got a look in. No. Cool. But like, I, I thought they might have learned from you know the Prince of Persia movie a few years back. Ah, Which Dylan. also yes. stopped Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm. Yeah, right, maybe there's a pattern emerging there. Mm-hmm. There is. Yeah. Yeah. He was Watch good in movie. He's probably going to be in that. Um, for Honor. Mm, yeah. It's doing nothing for me. See, I was really excited up until I seen the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See when I seen the gameplay, one word came out my mouth, mm-hmm. or two words. And can you say them on a podcast? Yeah, I can. Cool. <laughs> repetitive rise. So it just looked like rise with a different skin that's going to be repetitive again because it looked as if you could choose different characters. Yeah. Um, to have different character traits and stuff, which is great. But then the combat in the game looked just almost very, very risey. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I don't know I, I'd probably hold judgement on that again February's quite a long time away so we'll, I'll hold off and say yeah or nay on that one but I, I like I liked what I've seen previously I'm just not sure now mm-hmm. um, what, 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 next on the list is Star Trek uh, once again that's penciled in for December 16 yeah VR yeah. don't speak about VR is that just OVR yeah, yeah. 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 Do, do you know what let, let's give VR its dues because that probably looked like the most intriguing VR announcement as such if you're a Trekkie yeah is, is that the right term for yeah, yes. yes yeah I'm, yeah I'm not a Star Trek so excuse my ignorance I'm sorry but no, see no. to be honest with you see when I was watching it see when you see all these absolutely stunning games yeah. come out visually all these games are amazing it, it just looked a bit PS3, Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah. It, it seemed so last gen, and don't get me wrong. As soon as I saw it was VR, I, I, I kind of switched off, but it didn't look good. No, no, you're right. And mm. for me, what I noticed as well was they were running all the VR stuff that they showed off on the standard PS4. Yeah, everything they showed, yep. well, everything that Sony showed anyway was on standard PS4. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of hmm, that's interesting. Considering technically supposed to be plugging a new console that's VR compatible and all that jazz, so I wondered why they didn't push the VR stuff on that because potentially it might have upscaled it, might have made it look better. But yeah, on the console, I I was particularly the same as Chloe. I thought it looked very, very last genish mm-hmm. for the tech that's supposed to be available there. 
Mm-hmm. Um, what else we got for maybe one last thing? Is it not? Is uh, well, eagle flight and steep, isn't it? Yeah, we spoke briefly about eagle yeah. flight. We spoke yeah. about that. A lot. There's another. Yeah. There's yeah. another December release date which it might mm-hmm. not get this year. Mm-hmm. Um, steep. Steep. Brand new IP. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really excited about that, like just because of what it looks like it could do, mm-hmm. but it looks almost as if they've taken every social element out of the crew, put it into a brand new sports game, and went, there you go, there's a winter sports game that takes you back to like your, your SSX days and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. you can you can paraglide, you can ski, you can sne- uh, snowboard, you can wingsuit, and like you can totally customise your own tracks, um, play against your friends, do insane tricks and stuff. Uh, looks really, really good, but I don't know if it's going to be as good as what it looks like right now. Do you think if it, was, if it wasn't coming out just before Christmas, how do you think it would do? Uh, I think that will get pushed to next year. Yeah. Just putting it out there, yeah. Right. Okay, okay. I think it will. We should really keep track of all these predictions and should do. write them down somewhere. We should do. Yeah. Good podcast, we'll go back. Did, did Steep not do anything for you guys? No? Not, mm. not at all? No. Looks alright. No. No. Um, Again, not my thing. No, it's games. not your thing, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, on to one of the big boys, uh, Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. Fanboy in the corner. Yes. Uh, play anywhere. Play anywhere. Play anywhere. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Do you, do you get the term? Or do, this this is all. Yeah. Om- it's, yes. Yeah, th- I, this I, I has now know, almost become Microsoft's new new tagline, yeah. and they used it pretty much in every sentence on every single game they announced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so what's the term? What does it mean? So basically, play anywhere means that now with every Xbox exclusive or quite a lot of their titles that they're bringing out. Um, is going to include a compatible Windows 10 copy of the game, mm-hmm. which you're going to get for free, which then basically opens up the world between Xbox One and PC gamers, mm-hmm. and every game is going to have the whole cross-platform thing in it. So it's going to come standard yeah. pretty much now. So play anywhere as long as you have an Xbox One or a PC, but if you have a Wii U or a PS4, you can't play anywhere, pretty much, right. in a nutshell. Well, for the moment for the moment yeah that accurate enough no, can mm-hmm. I? yeah yeah, yeah it's, fine. Um, it's, the, it's the start of the cross platform isn't it yeah yeah for yeah. me I, it's, yeah. it was it was for me it was always going to happen but i think that was microsoft sort of flexing their muscle a wee bit and saying we know we've got that and we can use it at any point and we're putting our hand down now and using it so it's mm-hmm. there it's going to bridge the gap between console and pc so happy days mm-hmm. yeah um, Gears of War, a few things um, to say about that. It um, looks really nice, and Marcus Phoenix is there. Is there, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I, I saw a cool um, image, and it was him and uh, Kratos standing next to each other with their beards and their hair it's and pretty stuff. Pretty cool, yeah. And it said Grandpa's War. It's like, a, like a, yeah. a face off, yeah. 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 Um, 11th of October, we've seen that this year. Yes, yeah. Yeah, 100% this yeah, year. I'll, I'll probably buy an Xbox again to play that. I, I think like, probably <sighs> all their announcements would have been geared towards sorry excuse the pun (laughs) totally unintentional um between two games one being gears and one being forza probably so Mm -hmm. well gears is gears is one of microsoft's babies yeah that is the thing so for it to come out this year i I can't see it i I, I don't think you i don't think you do delay a gears of war game or a forza so i have just noticed gears of war elite controller comes out before the game yes Cool. It's like it looks four, really nice. Four days before, yeah, it looks looks, looks really it's good. It's a nice looking controller, but, but it's I hope like it comes with. Obviously, the Elite controller comes without changeable parts. Yeah, I hope that you can change the D pad on it because mm-hmm. I wouldn't like to have the wee chainsaw. Yeah, someone showed up. a picture yeah, of it, yeah, and yeah. it's just in the same little case as the Elite controller. So I assume that everything is exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. So I hope you get different um, the different ones in that there as well. But yeah, um, it was always going to happen. I'm surprised they didn't announce a Gears of War console, but you don't want to announce too many machines no. at I think the press conference I think, but I, th- I think there'll be a limited edition console there, there normally always is with, with Gears of War so it's the mm-hmm. baby as we said So, um, jumping from Gears to the next big thing is Forza yeah is it though is Forza Horizon the next big Forza for me and I know I, know, I totally know where you're yeah, going for this yeah. and I'm not I'm not a huge Forza fan right so I'm kind of on the fence but for me Forza Horizon 3 probably potentially looks the best Forza game I'll ever play because I love the motorsport but Horizon's great for the free roaming aspect and the fact that it's set in Australia with a four player co-op option on it 
yeah, like mm. for me, you're ticking my boxes. I felt horribly misled because I was like, oh, this is looking really cool. There's kangaroos and stuff. It looks really pretty. And then cars. And then cars. <laughs> uh-huh. you're, you're not a racing fan, Kieran. Uh, no, I like shooting um, things and slicing yeah. things oh, up. Don't get me wrong. I'm the I'm the exact same. Driving games, it, it's it, they're not my thing yeah. at all. I'm absolutely. Um, horrific at them apart for a split second the PSC was very good go. at that game mm-hmm. um, but I always thought Forza Horizon was kind of the unwanted cousin See, to Forza it kind of was yeah but the amount of people going back now and playing Horizon 2 mm-hmm. for the, the free roam aspect like, is, is pretty huge the now so I would say Horizon 3 is a, a welcome a, a much welcomed addition and the fact that you've got four player co-op and th- they spoke quite a lot about jumping in and out of your friends games and stuff like that and just the like instant drop in instant drop out mm-hmm. was really good and the fact that you, can, cool. you can take like a like a, a standard bmw go and race it against someone like a doom buggy on the beach and stuff like just okay, sounds that's... like so surreal okay and um, i'm looking forward to forza so I'm talking about september for forza yeah, yeah, end awesome. of september so again you're you're sandwiching yourself two in days between, before fever yeah you're sandwiching yeah. yourself in between that, that cluster i think it's gonna come out it's gonna yeah. come out in yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 um Rico, what's that? I'm not Rico, <laughs> Rico, Rico was one that was shown last year, last and then year, yeah, like it was, uh... it was very, very, very quiet because there was that one trailer for it, and then I never heard anything about yeah. it again. Yeah. Um, and then they came back and showed stuff about it this time, and it yeah. looks really cool. Yeah. Like there's the f- four different characters, is there? Four, um, four different characters. Obviously, you play you play generically as the as the women in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, almost like kind of Lara Croftish rip off year. day I said it. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Um. But with added elements of like a a wee car, a big huge Titan that obviously you put different materials into and you activate them at different times and stuff, yep. which helps you along your missions. Looks great for a new IP on Xbox, so it's an it Xbox looks exclusive, cool. so it does look really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, is that September as well? Thirteenth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just before um, my birthday. Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get yeah. that in every time. Um, Chloe, Final Fantasy Fifteen. Final Fantasy Fifteen. Woo! Um, apart from the person who was playing the Final Fantasy game, who has clearly never played a video game before in yeah. his life, it was atrocious to watch. It's like he was just like standing outside and just like, here's a controller, come with me. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. I thought it, it was, was quite cringy. It was, yeah. it was quite off-putting. Um, I wasn't going to watch it because I'm kind of in the mindset of I don't want One to scene, see yeah. too much. I like, um, but I finally gave in and I watched it and it, it was bad. The game looked fantastic. Yeah, uh, was, yeah, the game does look good. It was the pure good Titan fight, pure good. Uh, Titan fight. Um, oh. And it was amazing. Um, they have since announced that um, you are now able to pause the combat to issue commands to your party, making it slightly as a small Easter egg to the old turn base. Uh, yeah, it's almost mm-hmm. like a total yeah. gesture, really, isn't it? Basically, it's almost like saying, we can't change it, but, but he, here's something. You can uh, do yeah. this. Mm-hmm. You can get through the whole game without actually doing that. You don't have to issue. Right. The, the other characters will pretty much do what they want, but yeah. So I, th- I thought that was quite a nice wee... Like, we haven't completely forgotten Yeah, it's almost roots, like a, a good wee homage. Yeah. That is cool. I like but, that. Yeah. Final mm. Fantasy needed to be updated. It needed to be after what yeah. happened with the 13 series, which yeah. was just... Bad. Just horrible, and obviously Final Fantasy fourteen is pretty much just taking care of itself. It'll it'll go on for. It's ever. fantastic. I love it. Um, thirtieth of September is it coming out then? Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. Because yeah. if it doesn't, I I am going to have a fit. Now there'll be like riots and stuff if yes, that doesn't come out. Then. Right. This is it. This is the biggest Final Fantasy release in the West. It's actually the biggest Final Fantasy biggest, release. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously because you've got your mini episodes that are about 12 minutes long they're on YouTube they're all free yeah. the so they're movie. on YouTube you have the movie which has a fantastic cast Sean sure. Bean mm-hmm. um, Lena Headey this. and Aaron Paul yeah the trailer looks amazing the trailer does look amazing so you've got that tying amazing. in with this so this is this is massive for them it's, it's kind of almost if one if the game doesn't happen it throws everything out of proportion doesn't it so surely it's, it's got to go um, it's got to go in that day yep no, I will. I think there would have to be a fantastic reason for it to slip. Not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, totally agree. There isn't one. Like I said, they've built it up so much. Um. Cool. 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 <laughs> it's cool. gonna be good. Cool. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Um, yeah. LFG. What's that? Looking for group. Looking so for group. So basically, uh... up until now, if you wanted to find a group to do a raid or 
So that's the example I'm going with. Do a raid on Destiny or any other game you were looking to carry out some kind of activity. You would have to go to some external website or application, put in your information about who you are and what you want to do on the game, and then find people to play with. Yeah. Unless people you have would, friends. Aye, people would message you on Xbox and saying, I'm a hunter at level such and such. I've got experience. Can I join your game? Yeah. So oh, you did you go, see gaming thing? Yeah, 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 pretty much what that was designed for. Yeah. 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 But now... Now Xbox are going to allow you to do it from the console, but mm. still, I don't advise using LFG because most people get terrible. I use GC Gaming. <laughs> um, so we happy few, Kieran. You. Uh, oh, that looks fantastic. I, I I think the premise of it is great, and it brings back a lot of kind of Bioshock memories for me as well. Like graphically, it, it looks mm-hmm. similar to Bioshock, and it kind of reminds me of Dishonored a bit too. But I found out it was actually being developed by some of the guys that worked on Bioshock and the kind of premise of it, it looks very much like Brave New World, so it's all like kind of medicated happiness and this false utopia that's actually yeah. very much a dystopia and it just interests me looks really I good, think it looks brilliant, yeah. you don't want to become a downer no you don't No. Yeah, don't, don't stop taking your joy, yeah exactly. take your joy and everything's all good Yep. Um, the Gwent card trading game I've signed up for the beta there you go, close straight in there yep. um, I won my first game of Gwent on the Witcher last night it's there you go it's my achievement it's going on my CV uh, I, I, like Gwent's the bit that I don't play now that I enjoy The Witcher again see it was it was one of those things that was in the middle of a mission so I thought right I'm going to give it another try I'm, mm-hmm. I, I do it every so often and it's the first game I've won don't mm-hmm. ask me how I don't know what I did but I won you just need to make the little numbers add up yeah but you can't get too excited with making the numbers add up else you yeah and then in the next round you have no numbers to add up yeah. it, it, it's, it's a good game um, for me, I think it'll be huge. I, th- I think. Oh, I think that'll oh, take it off. Yeah, oh, good, good, yeah. Um, I, I was gonna say the Elder Scrolls have got a card game. There's a Gwent card game. It's coincided with our ni- uh, card night. Yeah. I don't want to say it's because of us, like. It's but, because of us, of course it is. But yeah, you know, the, the, the evidence is there. To say that, um, like, although we, Elder Scrolls are having a card game and stuff, and someone else is doing one as well, some other games thing. But Gwent one is the only one that's actually unique. Like and then yeah. it has its own mm. game. Yes, it's, it has, it's got its own set of rules. Yeah. Its own yes. like own individual cards. A customer was telling me that Gwent is an old traditional card game in Ireland. Don't know if it's true. I'm just putting it out there. Um, it's an old traditional card game in Ireland that used to use real, so real people on the cards. Don't know how it worked. That's all I got told. Mm. Just putting it out there. Well, well that, that, that sounds... Sounds... we should Google that. Yeah. yeah well, we if should... anyone knows the origin know. of Gwent. The origin of Gwent. Yeah. No, it will be good. They have, from what I can tell, they've made it slightly more user friendly. Um, uh, they've gave you less spaces in the board, um, but it's. I think it's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Um, and there's more of a tutorial, so you do kind of get the option of a step by step. So even if you've not, if you've not played before, or you've not been very good at it in the Witcher, yeah. you will get a kind of breakdown of it. So. Do we think that we'll get something? When I, when I say physical, I mean like trading cards to go into a shop and buy, or do we think it's just going to be solely a game? Well, people have started making boards. I've seen that. Because of the Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine came yep. with the yeah, I, I, I think that they would kind of be silly not to bring out yes, physical definitely. cards. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that's something that a lot of people would buy. Um, like I've got friends that want more Gwent cards that have got the Blood and Wine and Hearts of Stone ones. Yeah, so and it's just looking for more already. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. Um, um, I beating stuff uh, folk up in Tekken 7 for, uh, me, for me yeah. I'll, I'll raise the roof on that one and say that's a huge coup for Microsoft to show off uh, straight away yeah but um, at the same time I'm like like you know that way I would be excited for Tekken 7 had it not been out forever in Japan in the arcade machines yeah but but see, mm-hmm. see if you look at it like Xbox ain't ain't big yeah there, that's, there true, that's true because the Xbox over there is seen as a, as a shooter console Aye. and obviously everyone plays RPGs and and beat them up. I there, do you know what I mean? was so. watching. It was an IGN um, podcast, and they were talking about going over to Japan for some things. And their Xbox One, they don't do 360 in majority of stores anymore. Yep. Mm-hmm. And their Xbox One stuff is actually behind behind the PS2 stuff. Really? Yep. They don't advertise. Yeah. It. See, it, that doesn't surprise me at mm-hmm. all. Yep. They're not interested in it no. at all. It doesn't. Yep. So it wasn't. They didn't get it that long ago. No, it was, it, was, it was pretty new to them. But on launch, like I think it had a, a horrible launch over there as well. Yep. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's stereotyped and pigeonholed as a as a shooter box. That's that's pretty much what they call it. Yep, they're mm. not interested in, in... people in Japan would buy Skyrim. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they would indeed. Probably would. Probably. But um, yeah, for me to have for me to see Microsoft show off Tekken, I was like, 
whoa, wait a minute here, there's something something in the air for me has changed. Like, that was almost a big, as big a coup as getting Rise of the Tomb Raider last year. Yeah. Um, and now, obviously, they've hot, hit off with Tekken this year, mm-hmm. which seems to me as if they're, they're just wanting to steal something each year from Sony. Hmm. Um, and they seem to be doing it. And they seem to be doing it yeah. with no reply. Obviously, mm-hmm. Sony had Street Fighter, don't get mm-hmm. me wrong. Um, but to announce Tekken, which was pretty much Sony's uh, baby, it was a, for, for a long, long, long time. time. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they started coming out on the 360 and stuff as well. But mm-hmm. but it was it was the same. It seems to be happening. Everything's... Well, f- for instance, because um, I never even thought of that, you've had Tekken 7s announced mm-hmm. on the 360. Rise of the Tomb Raider came out first. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy. On mm-hmm. Xbox as well. On Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, when would that have ever happened? Um, 5, yeah. 10, 15 years ago? Don't get me wrong, obviously. Last year, 7 was announced at... Sony? Was it Sony? Sony. Yeah, Sony announced um, it. Yeah. But again, I think Final Fantasy was at Microsoft as well. Yeah, they were. Aye, they showed off in both. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So yeah. Sony seem to be losing a lot of... Maybe not losing, but they're certainly not getting first it's, shot. It's at. not a big a pool as, as maybe what it used to be. Mm-hmm. But um, each their own. I don't know if obviously Microsoft maybe offered them... L- all the money? Yeah, mm-hmm. instead of half. So <laughs> was, was Rise of the Tomb Raider mentioned at PS? No. Nope. Uh, nope. No, I, I don't think they would have. I, 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 yeah. I don't think they would have dared to because it's now a year old game. Yeah. So yeah. Th- there would have been no pull there at all for Sony to say, "Oh, by the way, we've got this coming out next yeah. this year." Which yeah, be like, "Okay, cool." Yeah, mm. Sony is getting. They're getting everything as far as my word. It's almost like a game of the year edition. Yeah, um, Sony are going to get, which I'm pretty sure Microsoft, Microsoft will also will do get. As well, yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm I'm about with yourself. They're not they're not going to announce a game no. that majority of folk have already no played. exactly yeah mm-hmm. um the fact that they haven't mentioned it completely uh, at all i mean is that a reason to concern anyone yeah no, no, no it is coming out i, th- I yeah. think I'll, I'll probably just appear under the radar without too much marketing behind it and i don't think sony will want to make a big deal about it i think it'll just be oh rise of tomb raiders out there now so. uh, more of a canal by the way yeah mm-hmm. it's, the, right. it's, it's one that i'm looking forward to play yeah. Oh yeah, Definitely. yeah, yeah. Like, I've heard mm-hmm. great things about it. I yeah. couldn't wait and got it in the Xbox. See, I think a lot of people done that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I was just in the lucky position where I had both formats. You had both, so both mm-hmm. consoles. Yeah. Yeah. So, See, um, yeah, it had to be done. I had both mm-hmm. formats, but I was just too lazy to plug my Xbox in. <laughs> but um, Tekken Seven does look really good. Just typical beat 'em up, different, um, different areas. Area it area. sells itself. Yeah, it does really, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah cool. Um, uh, Dead Rising Four. Uh, different developers. Yeah. Mm. Thought it looked cool, and then Sony, Sony showed Days Gone, and I was like, "Nah, that's the zombie game I want." Yeah, I, th- I think for me, we speak about franchises that are making games for, for the fans. Or we for, talked about this for last the money. Week, yeah, mm-hmm. I think it could. I'm not saying that, that I'm going all out there and saying it's all about the money, but a lot of people's excited because it's still got. Um, who was it? Was in the last one? Was it somebody West it was or something? Fr- it's Frank, Frank West. West. Frank West. Frank yeah. West. So Frank West was in in the last one, and they've carried that character over, mm-hmm. which a lot of people are buzzing about. Don't get me wrong. But and he's got some exo suit now from Call of Duty that he's obviously yeah, stole from them. Um, so yeah, different I, elements in the game, but to me, it's the same premise of. Again, though, is what we talked about last week, where it doesn't seem to know whether or not it takes itself seriously. Yeah, yeah. see, like, um, yeah. Um, and that's what I was about to say last week. Um, I said that it doesn't seem to know whether it wants to make fun of itself or take itself seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and after watching the announcement, I still don't know. I've I've got no desire. To. I don't think I have either to be mm-hmm. honest mm-hmm. although Xbox exclusive uh, yeah it does have a huge following but not not one for me mm-hmm. mm. Scalebound spoke about that spoke about yeah, it earlier yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. was excited about it kind of muted a wee bit now I'll wait and see as we said it's not even got a it's not well it's to be confirmed for 2017 so we'll, we'll put we'll it see out what there happens. and see what happens yeah. yeah Sea of Thieves oh my god we spoke we were like we were watching the Microsoft conference on Monday night me and Craig and we were all like ah oh, what is this why are they showing that and then they started playing it and we're like nah yeah. looks amazing see, see, see at the very start of the trailer graphically you're, you're looking at it and going what are they even doing showing this off and then see within about the first minute and a half of the trailer you're hooked and you're going Oh my god, when's that coming out? Because I'm buying that straight away. Am I the only one that liked the wee song that went away along with it? I uh, thought no, the song was, was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. brilliant. It just looks so quirky. Yeah. I, I, I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's one of those games that no one's going to talk about until they see it. And then there's yeah, such a gap in the market for a game like that right now. What is oh, it? Good. So, Sounds piratey. Uh, well, yeah. it's, it's, it's very piratey. So basically, I can have my your crew my own crew who's on an Xbox live party chat with myself yeah. so I can either start off obviously on an island or on my ship I go on my ship and every member of your crew 
gets a gets a, a job role on the ship, so one can man the sails, be the navigator, and all that jazz. But then all of a sudden, someone else's party from pure random can jump into <laughs> your game, attack your ship, try and murder yeah, your crew, yeah. steal your ship, or if you go on an island, it could already be um, nice. habited by by other crew members and stuff. So it's just like one huge big Xbox party. Pretty much, and Windows 10, obviously. See, it just looks like good fun. Yeah, just a good That's old... That's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's just going to be fun. It's, yeah. n- it's not trying to be anything no, exactly. at all. No, exactly. Um, and like I said, I thought the trailer I thought the trailer was fantastic. Photo pick up and play. It. Drink as much rum as you like, and you actually stagger. Your, your screen goes all shaky, and you stagger and everything. Make yeah, it, it looks really good. I, I thought you'd be all for this, because how many times have we sat here and talked about pirate games, and you've been like... I, you, you, weren't even, you didn't even know? I know, like, I was going to say, it's not, you, you said it's um, not PS4, though, is it? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'll be that. <laughs> um, uh, 2016 uh, Sea of Thieves. Are we seeing it this year? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think there's a lot. They're rolling a lot of stuff out to preview program members and stuff. It's almost mm-hmm. like basically doing a closed beta, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that and we happy few will obviously get preview program members first. Yes, yes. Um, and then it'll roll out. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Hopefully this year. I think it's gonna be one of those with everything else that's coming out. It's it's going to be released and people are going to enjoy it but yeah it's, it's it'll be it is what it is do you know, mm. I, we're not playing in a year's time probably not no, no. it won't be a, it won't be any record breakers or anything no. out there no. it'll be one of those pick up and plays whenever I'm bored playing or m- whenever you're annoyed yeah. at someone mm-hmm. shooting mm-hmm. Aye, face. my mind's totally yeah. mush so I'm just going to go up and I've pick this game I've died three times in Skyrim I'm going to play that instead yeah exactly could it be a downloadable thing could it have lived as that um, well, I'm not. I, sure. I'm thinking Ally Rocket League. Yeah, well, well, that's that's what I'm not sure about because I think they will make it digital only. It doesn't look like a game that is going to come I don't out think it's physically. Come out. Right. So I think no, it will be digital only. Yeah, release. right. All right, cool, cool. Uh, State of Decay two. Um, what do we think of State of Decay? Um, I spent the first two minutes jumping up and down because I thought it was Daisy. Not even going to lie. <laughs> um, and we're sorely disappointed. <laughs> yep, I was. But then I thought, mm, all right. It was a big hit on the first one. Was yeah. a, was quite a big hit. So yeah. Um, yeah, it deserves a sequel. See what it, see what happens. Does look alright. Definitely. Um, once again, st- uh, 2016. We see another year. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I think the likes of digital games and stuff will just appear and. Mm-hmm. Nah, we're just gonna come they, out they, quickly. They, yeah. they will be in existence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Halo Wars Two. Yeah. One of the the very few things at the Microsoft conference that did really grab me, like that and Gears were the two big ones that I thought were really? oh my god yeah. yeah. But it was just because it's Halo. Yeah, well, Sam Halo in anything that'll yeah. pretty much ah, get yeah, his yeah. attention. Yeah, yeah. Um, Halo Wars, that was a, kind of like the... It was more of a strategy boost. Yeah, I was going to say, mm, that was, so, uh, it's kind of like the, but then again, the rise into the standard fours. But, but then again, there are like no strategy games on console. Yeah, definitely good shout. It's definitely got a, a gap in the market there. Yeah. It's 100% going to sell and will probably sell quite well. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think, I, I think again, it's not going to break any records yeah. or that, but... I think people will still pick it up in the premise of that it's actually going to be a first-person shooter Halo game until they get it home and go, oh, it's totally not. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but there's also, there's also the kind of disappointment that was from Halo 5. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people were unhappy with that yeah. game. I know. Um, They're wrong. <laughs> They're wrong. They're wrong. Everyone who doesn't like Halo is wrong. Well, I think when... I, I could kind of see where they're coming from. They buy a Halo game, they want to play as Master Chief and barely play as Master Chief. Yeah. I didn't mind that. Well, I'm not I like Locke. I have nothing Who? against him, but he's no Master Chief. Yeah, he's no Chief. No. Um, Coming out on the Xbox One uh, in uh, America in September, uh, well, August, September time, is customizable controllers. I thought I was dynamite. Really, 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 really good addition to what's an existing controller, but they must have a partnership with that. Scuff. Yeah, that that wasn't going to name them but there. But do you yeah. know do you know the annoying thing about it? There's no you can't get white thumbsticks. You get every that, other color. Yeah, I thought no, no white thumbsticks. Aye, Tipex. But would you want like Tipex. a funky white analog? Well, yeah. thumbstick. <laughs> well, yeah, if I want a white controller, I want a white controller. Really, like white full or white? See, that's the thing. I just got a PlayStation white controller. It still has. Black. black, yeah, mm. yeah, I know, but I mean, if you were gonna like customize it, yeah, right, you'd want, want that option it. there. But mm. they're, they're saying that it's off. I think they're throwing out the tagline there or something. There's eight million customizable options you've got for every controller, um, with a a unique 
ID mark that you can, so you can put like your, your gamer, gamer tag, tag on, on it, or like weapon of choice. Or, Again, though, um, it's like them capitalizing on stuff that third parties have been doing for years. Yeah. Like, there's so many companies on the internet and stuff that will do that for you, but now having like it's it's an actual a, Microsoft yeah. controller. Mm-hmm. Um, will this affect companies like Scuff? No. no. It won't affect no. Scuff because it's probably down to scuff that it's happening it's pr- yeah. yeah like other companies like cinch and shark controls and imagine customs and stuff probably it will but yeah, yeah. and i'd imagine microsoft are going to charge a i'd imagine maybe yeah. 80 90 100 quid yeah, a pad yeah. which yeah. Anyway, not gonna be cheap. Yeah. even that, though that's less than a lot of the other companies well, that's charge. True. yeah mm-hmm. um but like when you buy a scuff pad you tend to get it when when scuff says we'll give you a customized pad that's what they do they give you a customized pad with basically the elite controller compatibility on it pretty yeah. much instead of just a standard xbox controller with funky colors on it but mm-hmm. see the thing is see like scuff controllers and stuff like as good as they are and stuff they are way too expensive for yeah, what you for get what like, it's are. much cheaper yeah. now to just get an elite controller and that yeah. as well like the warranty with the scuff controllers i've heard some absolute horror stories about the customer service and stuff so yeah. i wouldn't buy one from them but so, going yeah. through microsoft to be fine good addition um and the actual console xbox one s uh, yeah. two terabyte well, see, they pitched it. I found this dead sneaky. They pitched it weird. They pitched it very, very weird for me. So this year they have announced mm-hmm. an Xbox One S, which is white and mm-hmm. comes with a vertical stand. Mm-hmm. So um, it's 40% smaller mm-hmm. with no power brick because the power brick is now inside the machine. Should have been done years ago, though. Exactly. Like, yeah. do, you know, do you know what, though? Like, See see how you say 40% smaller? Yeah. See the graphic that they showed? Yeah. The graphic that they showed, someone took it into account. The graphic that they showed was actually about 70% smaller. Yes. So they kind of they changed it misled. They were advertising it as 60% smaller. Yep. Then they said 40% smaller. The graphic said 70 mm-hmm. Do Microsoft not know the size of the console? I, d- I don't them? think like all the departments communicate with one another. I think they just kind of... They make up random words and give you whatever comes into the top of their head. But you know, they have the best quality pixels that anyone's ever seen. Exactly. <laughs> uncompressed pixels. But there's a, the, moving away from uncompressed pixels, you've also got the fact um, is they're not, there's different models. It's yeah. not all two terabyte. That is well. Like so it's two terabyte, I'm sorry. On you go, Kieran. No, two you terabyte go. one comes out in August, and then 500 gig and one terabyte ones um, reportedly are coming out in December. Which they never stated at the conference. No. Because at the conference, they said. The models would be available from early August. Mm-hmm. Now, the models being the 500 gig that we just mentioned, the terabyte and the two terabyte. Now, which is great because the 500 gig model is coming out at the standard price of where the black one sits right now. And the terabyte one is doing exactly the same. And obviously the two terabyte is just going to be your £50 upgrade pretty much, which is all great. But the machine's not launching like that. It's kind of like, no. you'll, you're f- like, although obviously it is a much better idea to buy a 2 terabyte one when it is just that wee bit more money, yeah. Like it feels as if they're forcing people to get it yes. without actually giving yeah. them the option of anything else. But what I think they will do is what they have said is the 500 gig and the terabyte console will be available once the original Xbox stock depletes. So see, as of this moment in time of us speaking, Right now, I think Microsoft has stopped production of yeah. the Xbox black one Xbox consoles. One 500 gig yeah. and terabyte machines. Mm-hmm. That's it's me just spitballing and putting that out there, but yeah. that totally makes sense yeah, to me. Yeah, it makes more sense simply because they're releasing the two terabyte one first. Yeah. Realistically, you would either release them all, the all at the same go, time, yeah, or you would go 501 terabyte ones are already out, so just have them. Yeah. And then we'll release the yep, two terabyte one later, later on. on the year. Yeah. Um, I think they've done it in a very confusing way, and the conference wasn't overly clear as to how they were releasing it. You kind of had to look a wee bit more into yeah. it. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the information. Everyone was so super excited because they unveiled hardware and they showed off hardware, which was great. But no one really looked in depth as to like they didn't, no one scratched the surface until a day, two days after the conference, and went, "No, hang on a minute here. That's not what." you actually said mm-hmm. so it'll be it'll be interesting to say the least but um they obviously they promised that it's going to upscale to 4k um it's got no connect adapter which is another huge point from microsoft yeah they just kind of dropped it completely yeah, now. but they have turned around and said anyone who still wants to use the connect you get an adapter you get a free adapter yeah. yeah um but i think i think the big one for everyone is the fact that they're changing the power brick and um, they're moving to another white console instead of it being black again mm-hmm. Um, it's not going to look as much as like a, a 70s, 80s VCR. 
is what it does do. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm all for it. Um, it does look pretty sweet. So it is what it is. It's it's the natural progression without announcing a brand new Xbox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every, every the last generation did it with the whole 360 arcade elite and then slim mm-hmm. PS3 chunky slim super slim. So natural progression. We for all me. know it's gonna happen. Yeah. There was no mm-hmm. doubt that they were gonna announce something. Yeah. Um, Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio. That's mm-hmm. happening next uh, year. I don't really know what they're going for with that because it is better, obviously. But I'm like, why the now? Do you not think it was quite? I, I saw it... people online speculating and stuff and saying maybe they'll try to like force a new console out of Sony at this point. Um, I was like, I that, thought, that would be. I thought it was really clever, clever on one hand yeah. because it took Sony totally out of the equation mm-hmm. and launched something that. Technically, was we obviously spoke about it for a few weeks on the podcast anyway. Um, was rumoured, but totally threw the gauntlet down. But then, on the other hand, I think it was dead cheeky because they've just announced the Xbox One yeah, Slim. Yeah. So they're asking people to part way £250, yeah, £350 yeah. Pounds this but, year, and then, and then next year go and say, oh, by the way, now we've got a machine that, bear in mind, doesn't even have a cost yet, which probably will be about 500 550 quid. Mm-hmm. But for me, when I was saying that that's the natural progression of the console to go slim, Without announcing an Xbox Two, if you like, yeah, that Scorpio machine takes you into another generation. Without, exactly, it's clever right. marketing it by saying it's an upgrade machine, but it's not. It, for me, that's a totally new generation of console mm-hmm. again. But I just, like, you know, that way I'm like, don't need it. You know, um, I don't think I, I'm go- I could go on a big rant about how I think it'll pigeonhole developers and publishers because they're saying obviously that it's going to run games on 4K and stuff as well. And I think for me, it either goes to the whole stage where you go the PC settings where you can run it on normal, like Ultra and all that jazz. Yeah, yeah. Do developers put all their eggs in one basket and say, well, we'll develop that game for Scorpio? Well, see, or... this is like, um, what's his name? Mr. Layden, the PlayStation man, made a wee dig at him um, in the Sony conference. And he was like, that. yeah, and developers and stuff will be fine to make games for the PS4 because it's a fixed platform. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shots fine. But yeah. what? Yeah. At the end of all their conferences from the Xbox One and the Scorpio, they did say all three consoles will be compatible with each other to no end. Like there, there won't be anything that won't be compatible. Which kind of like to so your no average person, behind. what is the point? There yeah, what, there was a rumor going about that. I don't know who said it, so don't call me this. That people says that you wouldn't be able to use it unless you had four K TV. Yeah, this is incorrect. You can use it. If you get a TV, you can use it. Yeah. Mm. But it then begs the question: Am I not better just getting an Xbox One S, two terabyte? Because I can't afford to part yeah. ways with what no. three, four hundred pounds. Exactly. That, that are like, TV. if there's not like that much of a noticeable, noticeable difference to the average person, why not just pick up a pre-owned Xbox One for a hundred and ninety quid? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's not, not the I mean. first time Microsoft have said something in a, in a press in a E3 conference that was turned out backtracked and so, changed their mind or yeah. changed their statement. But I think what they might do is they might. If they've turned around and says that everything's totally compatible, then surely when they announce their VR at some point, yep. it will be compatible with all three machines and not just Scorpio. But who knows? It's all speculation at the end of the day. Um, it was all developers that was speaking about Scorpio and saying how it was great for them and all that, but I beg to differ. We'll see what happens, but it was great to see a piece of hardware at E3. Yes. It, it was cool, yeah, mm-hmm. but... Yes. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about it. And to throw the gauntlet down for me. That was that was the big thing. Mm-hmm. Instead of reacting all the time. Um Cool. Um you, you said it was nice to see a bit of hardware. What about Nintendo? They obviously brought out Zelda. Um nothing about NX. Nothing. nothing. Yeah, that nothing. was that was confirmed beforehand anyway. Yes, yes, yeah, I, 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 I knew Nintendo that. Nintendo pretty much turned around and says that Zelda was the main thing. Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, it looks absolutely amazing. But yeah. that's the thing with Nintendo, right? They tell you how it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, uh, yeah. no, there's no ears, there's graces. Everything's a spade's a spade. That and as well, like I, I saw people talking about it and all like that. Oh, but we've seen so many trailers and then the games have come out and they've not been like what they were advertised as. And yeah. then everyone's just like, nah, but it's Nintendo, it's Nintendo. Like They will deliver on this. Yeah. Nintendo are never going to make as much money as Sony or Microsoft. No. But I think they now realise that. They yeah. have come to the revelation that, look, we are good at what we do. See the handheld market, they dominate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they know that now. Consoles, they're still lagging behind. But they also know as soon as they put Zelda on anything, folk are going to buy it. Yeah, folk are going to yeah. buy Wii U consoles just to play just it. Just to play Zelda. It, it, yeah. it looks phenomenal. Like, see the, the physics and stuff and the, the way like 
there, there was like wind blowing and trees and the trees blew off of where they were into the fire and through and it set all the grass on fire it looked great I think you like Zelda Keith, I, I do like Zelda. Zelda I think yeah. so um, right and then on to the other big boy of the E3 conference Sony Sony Kieran Kieran hello hi <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite thing from the Sony conference ah oh, blah blah the uh, games cool I, I couldn't pick one right um, maybe the last Guardian trailer that looked very sad. Yes. Last Guardian finally has a release date. I know. Yeah, 23. Are we, are we seeing it? Um, are we seeing it? We can hope. <laughs> Bear in mind this was supposed to be a title for the PS3. Three, yep. yeah. Yep. Well, um, I'm, I'm pretty fif- sure it was supposed to be an early title uh, in the PS3. 15 years in the making or yeah. something apparently. Something yeah, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost older but, than So me. Mm-hmm. see if the... Um, I really want to play this game. I think I'm going to ball my eyes out at yeah, the ending I'd, of this. This yeah. is going to be a sad game. See if it doesn't come out on the 25th of October, I think I'm going to be done with it. Really? It, yeah. It's kind of at that point, like, most people, when I read things online and that, people are just like that, look, it's going to get, I, I saw a comment and it was like, it's going to get to, like, 3016, we're all sitting down at E3 and it rolls on again. We see the little boy, he hasn't aged a day since 2009, <laughs> and we see him, and we see a release date at the end, but not this year. Mm-hmm. Not this thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe next year we'll be ready. Maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um... Days Gone, Kieran, you mentioned that before, that's oh, a zombie th- game you want? I, th- I want it just because the zombies look really cool in it. Or because like, like the holds of them running at you. Just absolute hold them. Yeah, it, it looked really cool. Very World War Z-ish. Yeah, it yeah. was, and it was just like the animation on the zombies looked really cool. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me of COD zombies. <laughs> like just the train of them yeah, running at the guy. I was getting so annoyed with that guy. I was like, clearly what you are doing is not working. Well, so yeah. just run away. Like, see, the obviously, his, his cursor for, obviously, his weapon for shooting. Mm-hmm. Normally, when you have a cursor, right, for, for your aiming your weapon. Yeah, you aim it at the ones at the front. <laughs> yeah, right. But see, when it's white, that means, obviously, you're not aiming at anything, no, so you not. can't shoot it. Yeah. The cursor remained white for the full time that he was shooting those zombies. So that made me think, why are you wasting your time? Surely, if you could shoot those zombies, it would go red or green or whatever desired colour it would go. Mm-hmm. So you're shooting zombies for no reason. Just run. It's, it's good to see that the exploding barrel cliche is still oh, going yeah. strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good old explosion. If all else that. fails, oh, there's not a barrel that must explode. Yep, it does. Um, Detroit Become Human. Oh, it looks um, awesome. Quantic Dream. Yeah, yeah. that looks great. Like, yeah. I, it's it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. As I, I said earlier, that whole premise, I love it. Like the whole kind of androids turning against humans and stuff. And yeah. I think it looks like a really interesting way to do it. Like, it reminded me of seeing Fallout, how you have the synths, and then you have the ones that go out and get them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you know what it reminds I, me of? Oh, sorry, on your book, Um I just hope that, see that bit at E3, is yeah. not in the game. Because they've, they've shown, shown you... Yeah. The, the so multiple many different, endings. yeah, that's yeah. the thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, what if that's only half of them? For me, if you if you take Minority Report, iRobot, and Quantum Break, and just go, ah, I, I see that, and I put see all that. them together, yeah. you, you, that's that's your game. It look, don't get me wrong, like it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I think if that delivers on what it looks like, it's going yeah. to be that will be phenomenal. Anything that bleeds blue blood that is destined for a day one purchase from me yep, um, no, it, it seems like it stood on the shoulders of what they did in Heavy Rain with Jaden, see how he had those glasses, it seems very much that to me, those compared ones. to any uh, those are the exact ones, we're getting putting a picture out of them on, on Twitter um, it seems very much more that than anything they've done before I'm, I'm quite glad to see them try to they've, they've clearly kept to their roots like yes. Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls it's it, you can see, you can tell instantly who's yeah. made it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I quite like that. But I also like the idea of there being more endings. For instance, I was speaking about this earlier on. Mm-hmm. Heavy rain. There's so many endings. But you knew who the killer was. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just hoping Detroit. You can change that a bit, so yeah. so that the decisions you make influence the game a lot more mm-hmm. than what your generic preset. As I know, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The killer could be different, for example. Yeah, right. yeah, or mm-hmm. I actually, I, I think that would be yeah, a, because, a good uh, Yeah. Um, also, as well, uh, something that was um, that's raised no questions at all. Death Stranding. Oh my goodness, what is going on <laughs> oh, in that trailer? Yeah. I I really want it because I don't know what it is. You yeah. know that way, like just kind of out of sheer you're not curiosity. You've just got it on constant loop on your phone and that kid and all the time. I, I, I watched it like sh- like see I think Tuesday I was sitting and I was just watching it over and over and over like trying to work out what the hell was happening. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. watched it. I've 
I've watched it quite a few times. You know the song now. Yeah. You instantly associate that song with that trailer. Do you know what's funny? Hideo Kojima, years ago, like five years ago, tweeted the name of that song, the album name, and that artist. Really? Yes. And That's also cool. on the first image of Ludens, it says at the bottom, I'll keep coming. And that was the song that was used in that. I'm telling you. The Ludens character it is. It's the it same is. person. I don't care Amadis what Mr. Kojima I, has said. He you're, said you're on only, stage. Yeah, you're the that, only person that's agreed with me, but I, everyone else is like, no. Nah. He said, um, because the guy asked him at E3 and he's like, oh, cool, okay, so is that character Ludens anything to do with this? And he's laughing and he's like, no, 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 no. Well, he gets a translator to say, no. Nah. It's 100% going to be. Yeah. Well, see, when you, like, there's, a, there's, see, there's an image online the where. Night. Yeah, the, the two images are side by side one another. The, the image looks almost Aye. exactly the same as if the there's no doubt the that it's Norman Reedus super on, imposed on him and Aye. the eyes are exactly the same it is Norman Reedus yeah. there's no doubt about that in my mind it's his eyes do you think it's a bait and switch and it'll end up being a clone so technically it isn't that character oh I don't know mm. I've seen lots of interesting parallels and stuff about how the baby is Metal Gear and Norman Reedus is <laughs> um, Kojima and how the stuff dying is Konami I was like, okay. Right. Did, did, cool. did okay. anyone see uh, Hideo Kojima uh, having a drink? Yeah. Yes, Konami the Konami Tears. Tears. Konami Tears. Yeah, I posted yeah. that on my Facebook. Yeah. Can yeah, I we'll just put that up as well. Going away for the actual games like How good was his entrance? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. He, he did walk slightly too quickly for he my did. liking a wee bit, but no, the entrance was absolutely awesome. The entrance awesome. was phenomenal. And the fact he, the fact he spoke English. Yeah, well. That, that was, a, a, well, a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah I'm not But I really was... respect the fact that he tried. Yeah, he um, got up there and gave it his own. No, he, d- he definitely did. Um, I'm back. I thought it. I thought it was I'm good. Back. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was almost like the rebellious teenager breaking away from yeah. his. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye. That it, was wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a conference without him. Put it that way. No, no definitely so. not. No. Oh, um, it was good to see him, and um, I'm really glad that we're all so very, very, very confused. It was as yeah. well though. Like they were talking to him at this interview that I watched, and they were like, "Is this the game that you have always dreamed of making? Like when you were leaving Konami, is this the game that you?" had a vision that you would make and he was just like no not really I just came up with a bunch of ideas and this is the one that it seemed like it was the right time to make I think if he had the choice he would still be making Metal Gear games yes I've got, I, th- I think of course he would but do you think that the idea he has for this game if still with Konami would have been a Metal Gear game yes mm. Probably. I think if it wasn't it might not have been I can't really say it might not have been the same concept because I don't really know what the concept well, is. Well, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but I certainly think that the ideas they had for this, it would have popped into a yeah, yeah. game. My problem with it is, is the same thing that I have with so many things is that it's so early in development and they're showing me it. And, like, I don't know what it yeah, is. We're not going to get this game for about four years. Aye, no, like, aye, he's talking probably. about it and he's like, we haven't decided on an engine yet. And we're just like, what? why tell yeah. me? Why are you showing me a trailer then? Yeah. Um, something <laughs> else that came out... Um, that People were excited about Spider-Man trailer. Spider-Man. It looks cool. Pre-production trailer. Did you see the only thing that annoyed me about it? It's a PS4 exclusive. So yeah. Well, two. Th- Apparently, Marvel insisted on that. Yeah, and I, they did so, which I was kind of like, really. Well, so Dem- two two what? things bugged me. His 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 suit, like. Yes, it's a new suit. It's never been in any of the comics before. Yeah. It's brand new. I it, thought it looked good. Brand also, spanky new. It's also not because uh, I was maybe analysing it a bit too much um, it's not Amazing Spider-Man it is just just Spider-Man yep. Spider-Man so it's brand new I, I hope it's a return with, with movie eyes that was my movie yeah he's, his eyes moving um, I was speaking to Emma who works in a commandment store yeah. mm-hmm. about it um, and she was in a similar mindset of they better make it open world they have yeah, to uh, like yeah. we were they talking about it all day it. and it was like you know Spider-Man 2 on the PS2 I am aware of it like, yes. like, that was brilliant I, I did like that, yeah. Let me swing about buildings and slingshot myself yeah. about, and ah, oh, great fun. Right, obviously, we were actually talking about this not that long ago. Web of Shadows uh-huh. on the PSC PS was one of that. the be- It was one of the best Spider-Man yeah. games ever. Yeah, yeah. It's it goes for crazy money on Amazon. Well, crazy money for a PSC game. For, yeah, least. yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot how good that game was. It was fantastic, and so many people wanted it. And I'm just hoping that this can live up so to it that. Lives up to it. Mm-hmm. I think I think it will. I think that like, the it's the trailer that, that we got, like there's, I thought I seen some sneaks of of mm-hmm. gameplay footage in the trailer. Anyway, it wasn't all just um, CGI footage and all the rest of it. So there was elements of gameplay in that trailer. Yeah. So it does look particularly good. But yeah, costume and PS4 exclusive bummed me right out. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure how I feel about the costume. I feel like it should be if it's traditional Spider-Man, give them 
traditional costume Spider Man. Because mm. as far as I'm aware, it's still Peter Parker. It's not like yeah. Miles. Miles yeah. Morales. It's, Miles Morales. It's a I very love Childish Gambino. It's a very young Peter Parker from what? I'm thinking they're trying to tie him in with the same age he is in... In the movie? Avengers? Yeah. Uh, not Avengers, sorry, Civil War. Yeah, knew what you meant. Mm. Captain America. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another, another of uh, Sony's um, exclusives, um, God of War. That'll yes. Be a, that'll be a PS4 being purchased for that title. Aye, that looks... going to be amazing. Oh, that looks so good. I am not a God of War fan. I will put that out there. I am not. No. That game physically had me slavering at the mouth uh, wanting to purchase so that game and good. a PS4. I am so excited about this game. Aye, I am a God yeah. of War fan and oh, it's, oh it's just, I just need it in my life like right now. It see I don't know any so of nice. the other God of War backstories or anything but I don't even care. I just I'd, like I want that game. See that's the, the thing though like this is this looks to be the best possible entry point for new people. For a new, this like I've not played the good. previous ones, and are, are it's they, even like he says at the end of the gameplay thing, and he's like, "Oh, a new beginning." Yeah, are they calling it a reboot? No, no, it's not. They're not calling it a reboot. They're also not calling it God of War Four. Okay. Um, it just seems to be. I think they're just. It's another entry in the series, but I think they're going to try and get it. So. Maybe what they did with the Assassin's Creed movie, they're going to try and open it up to fans and new fans. So yeah, yeah. God of War is going to come in. It's a brand new story, possibly reference the previous games, but at the moment it's a brand new story. Well, so see as well though, I think that Kratos at this point is one of those characters who, regardless of whether or not you have played God of War, you know who he is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. He's, he's, he's iconic in the industry. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So right. no, definitely. You recognise him. Yeah. I instantly, I was I see when he stepped out the shadows. Uh, and the, oh the scream, my and the, 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 the cheers from that conference. The was went I, wild. It, went it was. Ah, that was brilliant. That is gonna be. That is worth getting a PS4. I think we'll leave it until next week to talk about our theories on God of War. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've spoken length about God of War, but I think we'll have a wee slot next week about our our mm-hmm. fan theories definitely. for God of War anyway. Cool. Um, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, Call of Duty. Yeah. Nah. Um, what's very interesting about Call of Duty? See when they showed the trailer. Yeah. Um, obviously they were doing obviously the live Twitch streams yeah, and yeah. the live Twitter feeds and stuff. When they started the trailer, um, they never announced what game it was that was being like, shown off. I, see, I, I was watching it and I was like, "This looks really good. What's this?" Yeah. And then I saw him firing the gun and I was like, "That's Call of Duty, right?" So. Everyone obviously watching the trailer, and that's exactly the response that all the Twitch feeds got and all the Twitter feeds got was, oh my god, this game looks incredible. Yeah. What is it? And then when they announced it was Call of Duty, suddenly everyone changed their mind and went, oh my god, that looks absolutely terrible. Yeah. Call of it's Duty weird. seriously has a brand issue right now, uh, as far as I'm aware. It's got a bad name about it. Yeah. It, See if they it, didn't it really call has. that COD. Well, that's what we were talking. I was talking to a few customers about that as well. Like, See if they left that game with a. What, just blanketed that game off, showed the trailer, and didn't call it COD. See if they just called it Infinite Warfare, people would like people in their droves would go out and buy that game. It looked, it did look great. Like see the 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 whole rope pull yeah. thing through the pipes and the debris yeah. in space and stuff, and then he lands on the thing and he's shooting people. Oh, it was great fun. Yeah, and then when he announced it's COD, every, everyone who previously commented saying, "Oh my God, it looks amazing," totally went one eighty and went, "Oh no, that looks absolutely terrible." It's, it's Call of Duty. Oh my God, can't believe I that I would never play that. The Twitch crowds are volatile. Yeah bad times so mm-hmm. definitely a brand issue for me mm-hmm. but yeah it does look good does mm-hmm. look really good and then you got a trailer for um, Modern Warfare Remastered Modern Warfare Remastered yeah mm-hmm. did you see the, the bad animation in it I did <laughs> yeah like the, the floating rocks and the guy whose hand was clearly meant to be on the trigger yep. and mm-hmm. ignoring the grenade launcher yeah. on the gun see th- this is interesting because obviously before we looked we had the opinion that Infinite Warfare was the bonus but from what you're saying the Infinite Warfare part looks good and the remaster of what people would be buying it for. No, it doesn't look as good as what everyone. I this think... is the biggest rip off I've ever heard in my life. Mm-hmm. You are, you buy Infinite Warfare and you get Modern Warfare remastered for free. No, no, you don't. You have to pay an extra thirty quid for it. Yeah. Like, let's not kid yourself on. I yeah. can understand why people want Modern Warfare again because it's probably the most popular. Maybe Modern Warfare Two. I don't know. Nah, Modern War- COD, COD 4 is the most right, popular. Right, so God. that's the most popular COD. And I can understand why people want to remaster. They want to play the time before Call of Duty got their brand issue. Don't make fans pay extra. £30 yeah. pounds extra. Mm-hmm. Aye, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't have minded paying 15, 20 quid for it. I, yes. I, I genuinely wouldn't have. But, but you wouldn't have g- bought Infinite Warfare. Exactly. Um, and that's what everyone's sort of grievances about. So you either 
you bring the game out as a standalone and charge that amount for it or you give it to us for free you can't have your cake and eat it and I I think that's what they're trying to do and I think that's probably why a lot of people turned as quick as they did yeah I think see if they'd put like see if Infinite Warfare left out all the kind of futuristic stuff and that and they'd put the same amount of effort that it looks like they've put into that into a boots on the ground yeah like old style Call of Duty shooter yeah Mm -hmm. people would love it well some of the articles that I've read from E3 finishing is that um, Activision have now gone back and they're going to change the cover and the artwork for Infinite Warfare. Hmm. And you know how it's obviously all space themed and stuff? Yeah. They're taking all that off and just leaving it as like typical war style soldier. Typical type guy idea. standing with his back to you yeah. with dust flying up in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Pretty guns. much, <laughs> yeah. Every um, Call of Duty so, cover ever. So they're, taking, yeah. they're, they're going to take Copy off the space theme. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to take off the space theme. Who knows if it will happen, but yeah. That's the rumour. Let's uh, talk about the best thing. The best thing ever. I was going to say, um, going from a, something that does have a brand issue to something that doesn't, Crash Bandicoot. We're all muted in silence, just ready to explode just, with excitement. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, yeah. yeah. Um, Crash you know, Bandicoot 1, 2 and 3 is coming to the PS4 mm-hmm. and it's going to be amazing. Do, do you know what I thought the nicest touch about the way that they announced it was? Did you notice the Andrew Leiden shadow? The, the shadow, shadow beside him? That was amazing. Yeah, that, that I, was, that was I thought that was great, yeah. But see what I hope they don't do? Is see the Skylanders Imaginators that they announced with Crash included. Yeah. Um, see if Crash Bandicoot looks like that Crash. Yeah. I, I think I, I I think I might stab someone with a I sharp pencil. I can't remember who they announced was doing <laughs> the remastering. Specific. Yeah. But I can't I can't even remember. And it might not even be Naughty Dog that's doing. Yeah. It's yeah, not it's even not Naughty Dog that's doing the remaster. But it's not going to matter because it's going to be great if they if they leave it as the originals were. They're going to be great. I hope you know all why? they do is upscale it. No, you don't. They're doing that. Another game. Probably. You're whispering, Kieran. I know. Yeah. What what game are Naughty Dog doing then? Probably Last of Us too. <gasps> Shocker. Dun, dun, there dun. was an Easter egg in Uncharted Four for the Last of Us two. Yeah, yeah. It appeared as a poster at the end of the game with oh, pregnant really? Ellie. With pregnant Ellie. Pregnant Ellie with a gun, gas mask, and pump. Did you read about that, Michael? I saw the picture. <laughs> <laughs> In a book. Didn't, didn't um, finish Uncharted <laughs> 4 to see it, but I haven't finished Uncharted. I didn't 4. know that. I haven't played Uncharted 4. I have finished Uncharted 4. I haven't played any Uncharted yeah. to the end. That's that's, that's good. I didn't yeah. know that. Every day is a school day. I'm yeah. in Scotland. What? In Uncharted 4, not not right now. Well, oh, right, yeah. Yeah. right now, yes, yes. Um, the name's also Michael every day. <laughs> yes, Michael every day. Um, Skylanders Imaginators. Um, Am I the only one that's fed up with Skylanders? Did no. You, it seems to me like they've just kind of run out of ideas and said, look, you know what? Do you your own. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. It's just pretty much. See this year, guys? Just do your own thing. Well, is that not what they did with Swap Force? Is, uh, am, am I missing something? Is it not the same thing? No, because Imaginators is pretty much like, do what you like. Yeah. You'll get generic characters, but like, you give them their own attributes and all that. And all right. So yeah. is, is it... Uh, nah. yeah, I don't know. It's Skylanders. I'm I'm not convinced. Obviously, they've um, not them, but Disney Infinity. Uh, can I stop? Well, I think they were kind of like that. Oh God, Dimensions looks pure amazing. Yeah. Let's, well, let's Dis- get a Disney Infinity is totally canned. Everything they're yes. now not going to do anything else to do. So with. they've canned it, and I can't help but feel like Skylanders should just do the exact same uh, I think, thing. I think Dimensions so. have le- yeah. uh, Sonic. I mean, come on. Just, um, what if somebody just made you a Sonic game? Would you feel better? I would. Yeah. I think Lego Dimensions will just become the the sole building uh, game uh, not not for kids because obviously that kind of pigeonholes it a wee bit but <laughs> um, building game with characters that you can obviously chop and change so yeah we'll, we'll see um, what I found strange was that it's not coming out on 360 and PS3 which oh, yeah. I find quite bizarre a lot of games are not doing it anymore they're trying to yeah. get away from it I thought Destiny's, Sky- ditched. D- this Destiny's ditched it yeah but I thought Skylanders would have been one of those games where it, it would have went to last gen as well Mm-hmm. But no, obviously yeah. can't handle the imagining. That's what no, it is. Exactly. Too much yeah. imagination in, in this game for you. Yeah, uh, Lego Star Wars. It's out in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, you can play a bit. There's a demo in that. I thought Sony. I thought it was a bit cheap from Sony showing that off, considering it's out in two. Like, why? Why would I want to pay money to go to an E3 conference to see to a see game that's out in two out. weeks? Mm-hmm. That was a bit of a, a cheap sort of gap filler for me, anyway. I, I'm not gonna like you. I like the Lego games. Oh no, I love them. I always have enjoyed one. This one, see, when I watch the trailers, they've they've made the scenes funnier. 
but they've taken the dialogue for the film. Yes, that's what kind of annoyed me. Like every other Lego game I you could play, just watch the film exactly because like I, I'm going to put it out there. I've not seen Star Wars yet. I have bought it in Blu-ray, but I've not seen it yet. Right, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I just haven't seen it. Don't don't shout at me. Looks of disgust being cast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, but see if I go and then Ray buy. See if, <laughs> see if I buy Lego Star Wars before I watch that movie. It's going to spoil the movie, and I don't oh want God, to do it. Oh God, it is. It's see, to be fair, the film has been out for what it came out. Have you avoided spoilers for this long? No, I know what happens. Right, cool. Because they were getting like, I had people on Reddit sending me private mail telling me what happened. No, in that no movie I, know, I know, I know what happens. But I just don't really? want. I don't yeah, want that scene, happens. I don't want scenes to be spoiled for me via the game yep. when I've not watched no, it. No, I th- I felt a wee bit. I think cheated is a wee bit dramatic, but I can't think of a better. No, word. no, I know what you mean though. Um, where you were watching the trailer because I thought this all sounds very familiar but Lego games normally they ham it up a wee bit yeah. and I was like this is this is just the trailer for the film and it's the exact same dialogue yes they've made the scenes a bit funnier yeah. and it's a wee bit quirkier but I was like I don't want to just hear the film again Yeah. do you think that's something that Disney specifically asked for um, I, so that it doesn't dilute the, the Star Wars message I suppose I, I thought it was, does it seem rushed you know, I thought could, it was kind of cool. An aspect of it being rushed. So they're I mean, just, copy, just, 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 just copy and paste it. Yeah, yeah. Grab the See, film. See, to be honest with you, I think they're trying to keep it as close to the Star Wars film as they could have. Whereas in the other ones, yes, you got the same locations, you got this, essentially the same scenarios, but it never actually really looked what it liked in the film. Yeah. And um, obviously, to begin with, not a lot of Lego games actually had voices yeah, yeah so for, the, for the first good few they never yeah. never um, spoke at all and then obviously they started introducing personally i think lego batman some of the funnier ones yeah because, no, totally um but yeah i was a wee bit disappointed but see with um with this one even the, the trailer they made a point of releasing a trailer that had side by side footage of the movie on left hand side and then the the lego star wars equivalent see, on thought, the right to show how close the comparison i, I just thought that was were. clever to be See, honest, I, thought, I liked it. I thought it was just a bit like you was well just giving me a Star Wars game without Lego. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, just go. Uh, I want a Star Wars game. Yeah, I know. But this is this is where it becomes. It seems to me this is their way of getting a movie tie in. Yeah. But making it Lego, so it's still, still quirky, still, so it's still different yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, movie tie-ins are generally quite Bad. poor. They're horrible. I can't things, think th- of a good things, one. things yeah. to do with games and movies are never. Yeah. Ever, so, ever, so, ever so if you put the word Lego in front of it, it kind of. Oh well, I'll let you off with that. Yeah, because yeah. they can they can make it funny. They get yeah. they get away with it because yeah. it's it's quirky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Still um, Lego movie tie-ins of everything. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll say this in a, a manner to which we're accustomed to: Final Fantasy XV, thirtieth of September. X. Oh, right, is that because people come into the shop IV. and ask for the silly? I do. Ah, see, L. A. Noire. The Noire. Did you speak to Scott? I did, and I can't remember them again. Right, get him to write them down, and we'll we'll we'll. We'll see if we can get them for next week. Yeah, you'll um, have to so it's a list of st- cr- stuff crazy customers have said. What are people going to do with Resident Evil? Because, I mean, the logo for that is... No, it just, it just says Resident Evil, doesn't it? Uh, v- V-I-I. God damn it. No, because in the logo, it's like... It's, it's like e- V-I-I. V- yeah. oh, it's quite clever how they've... Right, they've right, took right. Severin and put it into evil. Yeah. It, it right. Maybe they were thinking of people that work in shops that... Have to listen to it. Yeah, Vi. I don't That's think they realise how many folk ask for I know. Resident Evil Vi. Vi. Mm-hmm. Biohazard, yeah. please. Evi. But, but see, the thing is, there's, here's another one. Obviously, being a traditional Resident Evil fan, mm-hmm. the Biohazard tagline yeah. on the Resident Evil games never came to Europe. It was always... Biohazard was always in... Japan. Japan. Mm-hmm. I read that. Never have we had a Resident Evil game that's had the Biohazard tagline on it, but now we have, mm-hmm. which I thought was quite interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And why is it now VII? VII. Why is it now that version of seven, whereas six was six. Just I think, six? Honestly, I think so they could put it into evil. So it would fit. Because right, right, yeah. yeah. right? yeah. yeah. right. the other one looked um, like a questionable. giraffe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, yeah. a happy time giraffe. Um, <laughs> so um, Final Fantasy, um, Chloe, you're looking forward to. Did we not speak about that? I yeah, I know, and yeah, I know, I know. We did. Um, We've just wrote it in a different way this yes, time. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, um, yeah. 30th September, that's not it's, shifting. It's, it's happening. Not, yeah, it is happening, cool. or um, else the sharp pencil will be. Yes. Um, we Final can share Fantasy, that sharp pencil. Yeah. We could. Final Fantasy VR. No, no, that's the, that's the prompt. That's the never mind. Yeah, no, yeah. I know, I know, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. That's no. the, the blonde no. one with the gun. No, no. Right. 
Yes, mm. but like I said, it's going to be totally gang Mickey. And I don't like it, and just just let me play Final Fantasy Fifteen. Just mm-hmm. let me play it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Uh, right now. VR as well, sorry, just uh, just in front of me. Far point. Anyone see the thing for that? That's yeah. I think I glanced up one. and then yeah. looked back down. Did yeah. glanced up, looked back down, trailer over. Yeah. Right. VR done. Yep. Right. Does look alright though. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's, it's um, I, I think VR struggling for for stuff. Um, it's a spacey it, gunsy one. It needs a, yeah. it needs a proper triple A come by VR with this game. That's what yeah. VR needs, yeah. and right now it's not. It's trying to capture that by having the Batman thing and all that, but it's just no there. No. It, it, sorry, what I've seen at Far Point, it seems very Martian-y. Um Yeah, if it came yeah. out around by that time, I think it would have um, been more in the social um, you know, conscious, but it isn't. Um, cool. Where, where are we sitting at now? I think we'll. Time-wise. Where, where are we? Oh, time-wise, oh, we're almost at two hours. Just, two hours. just a huge E3 bumper edition. Good, good. I think I've enjoyed it. Oh, I have enjoyed it. I Might need to nice. advertise it as an E3 bumper edition. Yeah, yeah exactly. Aye, aye. Aye, please, please list that. It's not just two hours of silence or anything. Yeah. 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 Static um, noise. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. It's just too much to talk about that. So it, is, it, it is. It is. It is. Um, thank goodness. Uh, it's only once a year. I think Until we've got Gamescom. Yeah. Well, that yeah, and I think PlayStation yeah. experience will be big this year as well. Um, the Paris show is supposed to be pretty big because apparently Sony's shown off the console at Paris. Mm. Spoiler! And the other rumour, which I'll just put out there right now before we go, was that Red Dead. Yes, yes. Yeah. sorry, a special mention to Red Dead as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Red Dead was supposed to be announced. Allegedly. Allegedly. According to the internet. Yes, by Sony at the end of their conference. Um, it's Red Dead 2, it's not a remaster. Um but they pulled it because of the previous shootings that happened, obviously, in Florida. Which so I think is a very respectful Yes, yes. No, yes. Hats, yeah. hats off to them. Fair yeah. them for right. doing it. Um, because the trailer obviously involved scenes of that nature, so they pulled it out of respect, which, yeah, totally, hats off. Yes, yeah, um, yeah, But apparently we're going to hear some news on Red Dead in the coming days, stroke yeah. week. Yeah, I, I think they are going to leave it a while. I think it'll be uh, probably uh, tail end of next week, yeah. if not the following. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, aye. I think they'll maybe even potentially work on a new trailer, which they might do. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, so, the rumour of Red Dead Remaster or 2 is happening. Um, 2 seems to be out from favourites. Probably lately, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so, well, we've got a little bit of admin. Uh, obviously, we're now on SoundCloud. Um, we've got our Facebook, the, the Game Centre Facebook page. Um, we've got our own Twitter page, the GCPC Twitter page as well. Um we're going to do a bit of an E3 giveaway. Um, there's going to be... We've got three prizes to give away. So um, if on the Game Center Facebook page, if you comment your favourite part of E3, um, one, we'll, we'll pick a random person to win uh, something special. Um, same on iCloud. If you go to that and if you like us on iCloud... iCloud. SoundCloud. iCloud, SoundCloud. I, I, Damn it, old people. It. Yes, exactly. On Tinternet. Uh, if you go to Tinternet and do SoundCloud, we'll... Thank you. Um, <laughs> we will... Um, once again, we'll, we'll, we'll pick a, a, a winner from there. And our Twitter page as well. Um, we'll if you like or favourite or retweet the, the podcast... Uh, and comment with your favourite moment from E3 on there. You will win something as well. Um, and if you don't, I'll get all the prizes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and there's, there's quite a few um, cool things as well. We've got like a Mario hat, um, which which is dead smart. It's 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 a it's a, it's a hat. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> you sold that incredibly well. So, well you, can li- so you can live out your Bob Hoskins yeah. dreams. Exactly. Um, we've got the card night, um, which will be tonight for you guys. Um, it's the same place. Yeah, same place. Uh, Henderson uh, Scout Hall. Hall. Yeah. Henderson and Scout um, from half past six to half nine. Yeah, first one we had there was absolutely incredible. Almost mm-hmm. ran out of space again, so we got more tables and chairs. So now we know what we're dealing with. Um, the beast shall be slayed this time round. Yes. Um, and we'll go with that. Um, as well, what? The beast shall be slayed because we'll know what room we're dealing with now. Exactly. All right, okay. Um, cool. Also as well, happening in Kilmarnock tonight, uh, we've got Rod Stewart. Uh, he's... Going to be doing his stuff at the rugby park. Do you know I was going to try and sing a Rod Stewart song there, but then nothing totally came into my head. So I, I don't like, think oh, I know any Rod Stewart space. songs. Does anyone know any? Rod Maggie Stewart? May. Maggie May is Maggie the only one, one I can think of. Uh, if you uh, if you want my body and you think I'm sexy, ask Stuart instead. Are you kidding when I was saying that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a weird end to the podcast. That was an intense moment. <laughs> yes, um, it's quite quite intimate. Yes, it was nice. I liked it. Um, what else does he do? 
He's, no, he's, he's gravelly. <laughs> he's, he's gravelly. I like Rod Stewart. Yeah, he's, 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 he's nice. It's great for, like, as we spoke about it last week, great for Kamarnock, great for the area. So, yep. yeah, yep. Um, the place will be absolutely jumping. Mm-hmm. So, that combined with the Carton Night, big, two biggest things to happen in Kamarnock. Aye, yeah. no looking forward to the number 11 home tonight. No. <laughs> no. Um, no. Um, on your own. No, no, sorry. As I say, as well, if you go to uh, comicmatters.com. Oh, shameless plug, yeah, yeah. it's shameless. Yeah, no, it's shameless plug, comicmatters.com. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff that Chloe's written on there. It's, I've, I've read it and it's, uh, it's very good stuff. So um, go on there, like, talk to her, um, and just, uh, you'll, you'll enjoy it. If you, if you, if you like to listen to this podcast, then you'll, you'll like the stuff on there. So, there go. That's been a good E3 bumper edition, folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it has. Tiles. We hope that you don't think it's just yeah. been a whole load of dribble and there's been some useful information in there. And it's been more rants than Yeah, dribble, some, yeah. some good chat. We'd like to know, like, see if, if you feel the same about some of the, the topics and stuff. We'd love to hear from you and rant with us as well. So definitely put your comments and stuff on, on the pages and that, and we'll, we'll certainly share them next week. Yes, um, and as well, um, I've just had a bit of an idea. We're going to give Chloe some, some of the stuff as well. So if you like, if you go on to... Um, any of her uh, posts on comicmatters.com and mention the GCPC podcast um, we will uh, you'll, you'll get stuff there as well so uh, I just want to say thank you from me thank you from me thank you thanks small thanks from me okay. no, huge thanks <laughs> I, I did thanks yes. Yes. Um, right see you after thanks, thanks very much thank folks you. see you Bye. later